in this here thing today. So we want to make sure that we can definitely welcome them into the stream. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. Listen, my name is Byron. I am a real estate investor out of Houston, Texas. Okay. And I focus on wholesaling, uh, creative finance, fix and flips, new construction, all of the things. This is what I do, right? So anytime I have the benefit of being around a lot of great closers, I'm excited, right? Because this is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And listen, you're going to see some of the best of the best get into this thing. So I can't wait to bring on our judges so they can break down their philosophy and all of the different things that's going to be going on in this in today's competition. Okay, so we got two minutes before we bring on our judges. So here's the deal. Make sure that you have your pen and pads because it's going to be a lot of stuff to learn. And also, and also make sure that you're, listen, listen, if you, if you have some leads that you need to be following up on, definitely be taking some notes for those leads specifically as well, because you can use a lot of this here stuff. So I want to make sure that we uh, introduce the co-founder of Titanium Investments. Okay. Uh, this is Cassie DeHaas, one of the judges that's going to be take, that's going to be judging this thing to the fullest. So we definitely want to introduce her. She's a public speaker, TV personality, educator, nationwide investor. Okay. Cassie, what's going on? How you feeling? How you feeling? I think you're muted, Cassie. <laughs> Let's get you on. <laughs> All right. I'm excited to be here, you guys. I'm really excited um, to be a part of this. Um, my business partner, RJ, has been a part of this. So I kind of have vicariously and in the background for the past two competitions. Um, and I'm just, I'm really looking forward to, you know, just watching everybody showcase their different skill sets and their different abilities. And this competition is amazing. Um, you know, I, I love it. I think there's so much to gain from it. Um, to learn from it for people that are attending and that are watching the viewers and it, there's just nothing else like it there never has been and so it's an honor to be here I'm, I'm very much looking forward to getting into and dissecting different people's closing skills today awesome 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 well next thing i gotta give my guy i gotta give my guy liam benson in the building he is a wholesaler he is a closer right he was also in the closer olympics 2023 he's he's one of the sponsors he's a chief sales officer for one of the sponsors which is i speed to lead i speed to lead liam what's going on my guy what's going on baby what's going on baby <laughs> hey man you ready you to doing? get party started or what I'm so excited. This is going to be fantastic. Last month's competition crushed. We had something like 10,000 hours of people watching it after the fact. I don't even know what we did live. This one's going to be bigger. I cannot wait to see who's going to come out the winner. I'm excited to see everybody's closing styles. And for everybody in the audience, this group of closers is elite. This group of closers, we vetted them multiple times before they got to this competition. They had to fight just to get here. Every single one of them has a little bit, a bit of a different closing style. I know Orion comes from the Cardone type sales. He is hardcore. We got KP coming in. He's smooth. He's ready to rumble. Like there's, there's so much contrast here. It's going to be fantastic. I think that if you guys are, are paying attention and if you guys are listening, then there's going to be a lot of takeaways. There's going to be a lot of value. And I think it's just going to be a good time overall. I'm excited, man. Listen. Guess what? I got to introduce another judge, man. We got my guy, Elijah Rubin. My guy, Elijah Rubin, co-founder of the Closers Olympics. He's been a part of this thing since 2020. You did. And he was a competitor, right? So he's not just a judge. He was actually a competitor in the sport. So I love that. Winner of the 2020 Silver Award, over 19 years of wholesaling and real estate investing, over 900 plus closed deals. I'm just saying, he's not regular. Elijah, what's going on, my guy? What's going on? How you feeling? How you living? How y'all doing? Are you excited? Bro, bro, I'm telling you, <laughs> these rounds, you know, it makes you it makes you feel like when you first start off those first couple of years in real estate, yeah. you're excited about it. You mean, this is kind of like the closures um, Christmas here, right? We, we're, we're excited to see who's going to take that next round to, what style is going to work, 
who's going to put themselves in the position to stamp the mark in closures history? I love it. So, Elijah, while we have you here, can you kind of break down the rules uh, as to what are you guys going to be looking for? How is this thing going to be judged? Can you break that down for us? Absolutely. And it's, it's super simple. We want to we want to keep this as real as possible. When you're making phone calls, we, we're looking at the steps of the cell. What are you doing in the steps of the cells so that you are putting yourself in a position to not only close the way you close at home every day by yourself, but you're going to see us closers close. And this is what we're going to be judging for. So we're going to be looking for things like building rapport. All right. Are, you're going to get so many points. For building rapport, are you talking with them? Are you advancing the conversation? Are you connecting with these sellers? Next, we're going to be looking for negotiations, and, and so for each of the, for each of these um, areas, you get five up to five points, and these are all accumulative. So call after call, us judges are listening to each call, and we're going to make this accumulative of all their calls. So rapport, we're looking to find out. Like I said, are you building rapport? Are you really connecting with them? negotiations are you going back and forth are you pushing the mao down are you trying to maximize on the biggest spread or are you just giving them whatever they want creative options okay um so creative so like for instance uh, creative options are you using a novation agreement um are you looking at um doing a subject two? if the cash option didn't work are you circling them back around for seller finance these are some things we're going to be looking for and we're going to be judging giving your and rating and scoring points for then handling objections. Are you bypassing objections? Are you trying to over talk them? Or are you bracing those no's, taking those objections and turning them into possible rebuttals and solutions that advance the conversation and close? Um, are you diving in identifying pain? We know what this is. If you make calls, you know, in no pain, no, no game. <laughs> So are you seeing the pain? Are you asking the real questions? Why are you selling? What happens if you don't sell? What happens next? You know, um, who else will be affected if you don't sell this property? Are you really poking the pain? All right. Then verbal agreements. Verbal agreements are absolutely fine. We're looking for verbal agreements to start with. Do they verbally agree to you? Is it a clear yes? Yes, we will go forward with you. Or is it, uh, let me think about it. I need to pray about it. Talk to my spiritual advisor about it. And then I get back to you. Right. So we want to know, are you really digging in and getting those verbal agreements clear and, and ironclad or are those just kind of let me let me pray about it. Then the signed contract. All right. So you saw what Munif did. You saw what RJ Bates done. Um, are you getting a signed agreement right there on the time? Getting that contract back. If you get that signed contract, you almost guarantee get your five points. And then last but not least is a net ROI, net return on investment. And this is really only to be used for when. Two people get signed agreements. Whoever has the highest net ROI, who has the biggest spread, the most profitable deal, that person will get those extra points. So that's what the criteria we're judging on to see what these closures are made of. I love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. So listen, I'm ready to get to this wheel. Do we have this wheel ready to go so we can find out who will be the first person to take the hot seat? Yes, indeed. Let's get to it. Well, before we do, let's go ahead and get to our promo video. I, I, I want to get that first. Let's go ahead and get that locked in um, before we get to the wheel.
Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Listen, I don't want to waste too much more time. I'm ready to get to these closers. I'm ready to get to this wheel. You understand? I'm ready to find out who is going to be the person to take the throne. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. I'm going to go ahead and click here. Oh, wait. Orion, Orion. My guy, listen, my guy Orion, he's actually here in Houston, Texas. He's from Houston, Texas. I mean, listen, my guy has five years, five years of real estate experience, 350 plus closed deals, and he teaches students sales and business techniques, right? So listen, you're not looking at no rookie. We're talking about somebody who is ready to go. OK, so listen, I just want to make sure that you understand that you want to go ahead and get everything prepared, all of your notes and all of that stuff situated. And we're going to get this thing part, uh, get this thing started here soon. Got the next name coming up, next name coming up. KP, KP is going to be up next. After Orion. My guy Kendall. All right. So we got it. We got our we got we got our breakdown. So my guy Orion, um, he's gonna be one of the first straight out of Houston, Texas, right? And I can't wait to hear this guy break this thing down and get some deals closed. Hopefully we can get some deals closed on this one. You know what I mean? I love, love, love when we see that happen. So uh, let's go ahead and get this party started. Where's my guy? All right. So we're going to wait on... What's going on, my guy? What's happening, man? How you feeling? I'm feeling absolutely amazing, my friend. Ready to get on these phone calls and close some deals, my guy. Hey, man, listen, I'm rooting for you. You from my city, man. Hey, represent Houston, my friend. You got to represent. Let's you got to represent. Let's get All right. So let's go ahead and get straight to it, man. Are you are you pretty much ready to go? I got my CR up. I got the leads right there. I'm just going to start dialing on the speakerphone, right? Listen, man, my guy comes dressed to impress. He's in a suit and Always. everything, man. <laughs> Always. I love it. All right. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Boom. I'm ready to rock, man. I think we're just going to wait to get this clock up here. Once we get the clock up, I think we're just going to have Orion go at it and get some deals closed. Yeah. Right. I'm excited to see my guy get after it. I mean, any, anytime you, you're closing in a suit, you take your profession to the next level, all right? So I, right, love, right. It. I love it. I love it, man. Sure right, we, He's ready to roll. All right. So right, right, we get that first call. It's going to be on. All right. So, um, all right, I recommend lowering the volume on the computer. So, so we can still hear you. Don't mute us, but just so you don't hear us. So, okay. So you don't hear us in the background. There we go. There we go. Oh, I was looking for James. It's James. Hey, James, it's Orion ATS Capital. Hey, you had uh, submitted a lead online about a property on 4403 West Interstate Highway 20 in Midland, Texas. Uh -huh. Yeah, we were purchasing yeah. land in the area. Just thought if you'd be open to an offer on the property today. It'd be great. Okay. Make an perfect. I'd definitely get you an officer. Just take me a few moments to ask you a few questions just so I can get you the best That'd possible. Be okay, perfect. And then I do see it's a vacant land, correct? And does this land have utilities? Does it have uh, hookups? Or is it just well, a wall piece of land? there's a house on it. It, it, it. So it's not vacant. There is a house but, on it. Okay, perfect. But, but I'm not really living in a house. I'm just storing some, some furniture in it. Just some furniture in there? So you're just using the property as storage? Is that correct? Well, you're using the word property. It's 11.1 acres. So, you know, if I had, store, if I had property on all the 11.1 acres, you know, I'd have a bunch of crap. Uh, there's a 1,400-foot house. Well, between 13 and 14. And I still have some furniture. I used to live in it. But I haven't been there in a year and a half, two years. You haven't been there in a year or two years? Okay, I got it. 
And yeah, then, I think uh, it was December of 20, 2020, 2021. Yeah. Cool. And then the, the 1,400 uh, 1, square foot house, is it three bedroom, two bathroom? It is three bedroom, two bath. Okay. Great veneer, attached two car garage. Um, um, let's see. What do I use? What, what, what do I use to say? The, uh, the, the common areas, the, uh, the floors were replaced before I, before I bought it in 2018, uh, with that, that ceramic tile that looks like wood. Mm -hmm. Um, I put purple carpet down when I bought it in 2018 and, but I, it's in really good shape because I was doing, I was driving back and forth between middle and Houston almost every weekend. Almost every uh, weekend. I'm, I'm an oil and gas attorney. So I, I had, I had stuff going on in both places and I grew up in Bryan. So I go up to Brian and take care of my mom a, a day or two for a weekend. Um, uh, Got it. Okay, uh, cool. I mean, it sounds. Like, I mean, Sorry, it sounds. It sounds like a nice property. Is there any specific reason why you're looking to sell it? I don't live there anymore. You don't live in there. Yeah. I got it. I, got, I mean, we can help you on more ways than just purchasing the property. Um, just, 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 just to note if you need any help in that down the road. And then, if we can come to an agreement, how much were you looking to get for it? How much, you want, how much you want to buy? So I just pulled up the county tax appraisal, um, and the city has this appraised at one hundred sixty-eight thousand one hundred fifty. What if we give you around that? <laughs> for, for which tract? <laughs> uh, uh, that, that's just a, that's just a tax appraisal. I'm just saying, what if we give you around that? It, I mean, it, it, it right. seems like you had a number tax in mind for which tract. For which tract? Yeah. 4403 West Interstate 20. And I'm uh, looking at... street address. That's not a tract. The, the, it's, the appraisal district has, a, has a broken up into four different tracts. I, I'm seeing 1.154 acres. Section 8, Block 39. You, you want to give me uh, $150,000 for 1.94 for acres? I could probably do that. Yeah, it is broken up to four. Okay, got it. So... I do see this. So, did you did you did you like replat this land so it's broken up in four different properties? With the, the appraisal district did that. The appraisal district did that. So yeah. all all together, it's like five acres. Is that right? It's eleven point eleven point one acres. acres. If you want to write that down, I won't have to repeat it again. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And then the house has been vacant for how long? Well, you use the word vacant. I haven't lived in it in, in uh, almost two years, but I still have furniture in it, so it's not technically vacant. Got it. Okay. And then <clears throat> I know I, I kind of got uh, confused with uh, how the city broke this up in four different pro properties. So I was just looking at one, yeah, but I found them all. Fun. I found them all right now. Okay. I got, I got yeah. what's going on. So, <clears throat> so essentially if you, if you look at the East side where the, where the house is, they have, uh, they have two, two tracks that total approximately 2.8 acres with the house. Uh -huh. And, and that those are cut horizontally because there's a power line easement. So they, so they broke it up. I beg your pardon, not a power line easement, the city limits. Um, the city limits are 200 feet south of the southern boundary of the, of the I-20 feet road. So that's why they broke it up into four tracks. <clears throat> got it. Okay. I mean, it seems like you know what you want for the property. If, if I can get approved for something, I go back to my underwriter. What, what were you seeking to get for for all, all for the whole property? For the for the entire 11.1 1 acres? Yes. I would say $500,000. $500,000? Uh -huh. So you're saying if I get approved for five hundred thousand dollars, you'd be ready to move forward today? If you get approved for five hundred thousand dollars and can close within ten days and give me a ten day lease back, I, I can go forward today. You can send me a contract, and I'll go forward today. When you say a ten day lease back, just to get the things out of the property after we do close on the Correct. property. Okay, cool. And then uh, we would have to use a title company so everybody's protected. And as long as the title square will close on the property, do you have any taxes, mortgages, or liens on it? Uh, I haven't paid taxes for last year, and you'll have to uh, you'll have to um, prorate taxes for this year. Got it. And then, may I ask how you came up with the five hundred thousand? I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not aware of any lens. Well, the the, the little house, uh, that house in 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 Midland, if it was in the city limits, like in in town in town, would go for somewhere in the neighborhood of three hundred thousand um, dollars. It's on two point eight acres, so I think um, appraising that. Um, somewhere in the neighborhood because it, it could use a little bit of fixing up. Um, the, the, uh, the bathrooms and the kitchen are all functional, but they haven't been updated since the early eighties. So, uh, you'll have a little bit of money in that. And 
you can't touch an acre of land in Texas. Uh, it should be in Midland County for less than ten thousand dollars. And this uh, remaining, after you take two point eight out of well point one, you have eight uh, seven point. Got it. <clears throat> seven point seven. Uh, that that land is worth well, really sixty five or seventy thousand dollars at least. But I'm willing to take fifty thousand dollars for it, and I'll, I'll give you a, a discount for buying the whole thing, uh, so it doesn't have to be um, surveyed. We have a we have a good uh, beach and brown description that we can put in a deed, and um, um, we can, I can close as soon as you can. Okay, perfect. So I, I know you you came up with a five hundred thousand. Just to, just to let you know, when I bought it, uh, it was listed on Zillow. I was listed for sale by owner. I, I had used to date a, a girl who was a realtor, so I knew nobody would show it for the reasons you probably know. So I went out and took a look at it, and uh, he had a price just, just great. So I called the title company that afternoon. They sent me a, 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 a it wasn't actually a title policy, but they sent me an email saying that there were no title defects. No title and defects. I met him the next day at the Wells Fargo downtown Midland and handed him a cashier's check. And he executed the deed that I drafted with the data meets and description. Was that a quick claim deed or a warranty deed? It was a warranty deed. Okay, so I know you wanted five hundred thousand dollars for the property. My computer is not allowed. Is not is not popping up. I, I'm got a, I got an offer on my computer right now for three hundred thirty three thousand seven hundred thirteen dollars and twenty three cents. Okay, can yeah, I say that should do? That should do. Okay, so let me let me work on getting the paperwork approved for three hundred thirty three dollars seven hundred thirteen dollars and twenty three cents. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't waste the time to do that. Okay, perfect. So I couldn't do That's the five hundred right. Is that I, the best that you can do. That that would be the best I could do right now. We couldn't do the five hundred okay. for this one. Well, if you want to text me that offer, I'll definitely do. So, I, that, I, so, so that I'll have it handy. Since I get two or three phone calls on this property a, a, per day, <sighs> it's hard for me to keep track of the offers that I get. Uh, this is what I'll and, do. You know, if, if if in a couple of days I haven't gotten anything that was significantly better, I might take that. Okay, fair enough. Well, uh, I'm going to send you our company commitment so you can see the services we provide. What's your email address? I don't want an email. All right, fair enough. All right, I'll text. I'll text you over that offer. I'll text you over that offer right now. Text me a short message with with your name and the uh, the offer that you made. Fair enough. Thank you, James. Have a good rest of the day. Yes, sir. Bye bye. All right. All right. How do I work this CRM leads? All right, James Hurt. Look, I couldn't find any comps on that mother mother effort. So at the end of the night, you got to kind of roll with the punches. So I just got tax appraisals that are really low. He said he five hundred. I know that's probably a little too high being in texas and doing deals in midland texas so i just shot him a that was literally a blind offer i don't even know i'd have to go back to see if that works so i uh, i wouldn't consider that a lead to be honest with you i'm on a time thing right now if i had a little bit more time i'd probably spend it with him but right now i got to go my friend i'm on a shot clock when the closest olympics let's get it <laughs> see that see that that's what's really important in the, when you're in the close olympics here no right. when to hold them when to fold them Okay, the second lead didn't straight the voicemail. Keep dialing. Stay, stay cool, calm, collected. You know what's really Paul Tom Sack. What's up with him? He's got a house. While it's ringing, my friends, you always buy running comps. When it's ringing, if you're doing this virtually, you gotta have, you gotta run the comps while you're talking to sellers. Coming up with the number early on so you can focus on the conversation, build that trust, and get them get them sign that contract. I think Hello, Paul. Like a bit more of his yes. pace. Hey, Paul, it's Orion ATS Capital. You had uh, submitted an online submission through our website about a property on 229 Bilingo Lane in Fort Worth, Texas. I've gone with another company. You have gone with another company? Okay, I got it. When you say you're going with another company, are you meaning you signed a contract with them and it's already an escrow title company? Yeah. Okay, and then are you, are you receiving backup offers in case that doesn't go through? No, it's going to go through. It is going to go through? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Do you have any other properties you'd be interested in selling? Perhaps some land? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow back up with you in about 10 days just to make sure that did go through. And if, if not, um, I, I would love to make an offer. Fair enough? Fair enough. All right. Thank you, Thomas. Bye-bye. Paul. Thank you, Paul. Hey, at the end of the night, if he's got another contract on another on a deal, then uh, you need to follow up with him if you're doing acquisitions because not all these deals go through. All right, Paul, where am I going? Yasak LLC. Let's get it. Let me get someone on the phone, my friends. I'll close them. I guarantee yeah. you that. This is a little different. I'm a little time clock right now. I got 19 minutes. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Or dial 611 for customer assistance. Hey. Just show us. <laughs> a little four to do right here. 
Liam, is, is, are these our leads for now on? We can keep these leads? <laughs> you nope. can, hey, uh, this is O'Ryan, ATS Capital. Uh, there was an online submission about a property on 910 North with 199th Terrace in Pembroke Pine, Florida. Yes. Hey, so we're purchasing in the area. Um, have you thought about letting that property go today? We have thought about it. Um, have you seen the information on the property? So yeah. I just put... So I just pulled up the property. I'm taking a look. It's in the zip code that we purchased in. So we'd be interested to make an offer. I just have to ask you a few questions just so I can get you the best possible offer. Is that fair? Okay, ask me. Tell me. Cool. Is this a primary property? Is it rented out or is it vacant? It is actually about to be rented out. Uh, section 8, $6,500 a month. 6500 Section 8. Okay. Got it. And that, is that a year lease with the tenant? It is going to be your lease with a tenant here. Okay, perfect. And then I have the, I have this uh, property under the Y Square LLC. Am I talking to the yes. owner of that company? Okay, perfect. Yes. So you're just putting it on the market, but you are interested in selling. I mean, we do buy properties with tenants in it. However, it just has to make sense. So uh, did you sign that lease we already? Not gonna, we are not going like, to list it for like, a regular sale or anything. We're just looking for, you know, like the... Like maybe like a company like you who just comes in and buys the property. That's it. Understood. So we can definitely purchase the property. It'd be cash transactions. So it'd be rather quick and smooth. Besides yeah. yourself, is there anybody else involved in making a decision? No, it's just me. Okay, cool. So it is rented out. And then um, in regards to uh, uh, if we can come to an agreement, what are we looking to get for it? 1.3. 1.3 million dollars. And, the, and then the rent is 6,500 a month? Yep. Probably be a little too high. Probably couldn't do anything with that. Have you ever thought about just maybe listing it? Maybe you'd be able to get that much for it. Well, we have uh, done the comps and stuff, and we have seen uh, other in the area. And uh, give me one second. Hold on. Sorry, what? I don't have the time. Uh, hey, sir, let's not waste your time. This one be the highest uh, property I see was eight hundred fifty thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. no, dollars. This is what it is. This is what we're looking. Yeah, absolutely. Has, not a big deal. Because of, yeah, do, because do you have any other few properties few. you'd be interested in selling? There are a few more, but this is the one that we are. Uh, like looking to you know sell now. I got it. And then I see one on one two three two zero South Village Circle. Would you be yeah, open no, to? We're not interested in selling that yet. All right, fair enough. Well, best of luck to you in this house, sir. Hope you have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Bye bye. What was that guy's name? All right, Angela Parks. Hey, I saw accounts for eight fifty. If he's saying he wants one point two and it's about to be leased up for sixty five hundred, one that's not the one percent rule, and two, there's no comps justifying that. You don't want to waste your time on that guy. Right, it just sold in December after 265 days on market for 690 is what he bought it for. I mean, he could have put money into it, but at that rent rate, nah. I, I only saw the comps at 850. I don't, I don't know. Let's see here, 409 Angela Parks, Lake Trail and Humble. Let's get it. What's wrong? Please leave your message for four zero. Hey, Angela, it's Ryan, ATS Capital. If you could call me when you have a moment, it was about a property I came across on 20910 Lake Park Trail. Uh, my number is 832-877-1798. Always call your people twice, my friends. You increase your probability to get them on the phone. Please leave your message. I'll straight to voicemail. All right. So I don't have time to text them, but I would definitely be texting them if I wasn't on a shot clock right now. All right. You got all kinds of time, buddy. Yeah, I plenty get of time. time. I get that, I'm gonna get through these leads real quick. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Cool, calm, collective. Cool, calm, collective. Ludus Fraser, Georgia. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Hey, Mr. Fraser, it's Orion ATS Capital. I was calling regarding a uh, property that came across on 121 Dahlia Avenue. Uh, if you could call me back when you have a moment, my number is 832-877-1798. Let me call this guy twice. And see, so as you're making these calls, like I said, I think just visualizing yourself closing the cellar, visualize getting yourself talking to somebody. I know I do a lot of that when, I, especially when I start feeling, man, I'm not getting in a hold of anybody. I start visualizing what I want to see happen. What we think about, we bring about at the end of the day. You're going to get that seller, the one. You're coming. Your call has been forwarded to. It's coming to you. 
they're coming to me, all right? <laughs> I'm going to throw, I'm gonna have to throw the shades on. I'm going to throw the shades on. <laughs> Let me call somebody. Bring somebody out. Yeah. I usually have a copy paste. Right? I do that too. And say, hey, then what the seller name is? Hey, boom. I even have a shortcut in my keyboard where I can type in like two letters and then it pops up the whole text. So I don't even have to go that far. Just to See? hook them. See. Oh. Utilize the technology even more. Let's see. Nice. You know, I think what's really cool is this that this is what happens, you know. You're making calls, you're making calls, you're talking to you're you're gonna sit there, you're gonna go through the call, voice at the voicemail. Obviously, this is a competition today, but you planting that seed, showing up on the radar, that double dial, that text message, comes back to you weeks after weeks, months after months. So it's good to see. Yeah. Come on, man. All right. Plenty of time. Yeah, plenty of time. Where is this guy? Leeds. Lewis. Mark. That's my guy. Mark. He's the one. Come on, Marky Mark. Marky Mark. Mark, Mark. Right. Come on. Hey, I was looking for Mark. Hey, Mark, it's Orion, ATS Capital. I just got an online submission through our website about a property that you own on 10307 West Bank Court in uh, Leland, North Carolina. Yeah. Yep. We we were purchasing property. Yeah, absolutely. I, again, my name is Orion ATS Capital. I just I just received an online submission from a property that you just submitted on a, on one zero three zero seven West Bank Court, Southeast in Leland, North Carolina. Yeah, we were purchasing properties in the area. Would you be open to an offer today? Okay. Can you hear me a little bit better, sir? Can you hear me a little bit better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, so we're buying we're buying properties in the area. I, I I can get you an offer. Just take me a few moments to ask you a few questions just so I get you the best possible offer. Is that fair? Yeah, go ahead. Ask sure. Is this your primary property? Is it rented out or is it vacant? That's primary. It is your primary property? Okay. So if we could come to an agreement, how soon could you close on the property? If we did come to an agreement, how soon could you close on the property? A lot of stuff. Okay, not a problem. And then uh, just for paperwork purposes, would that be like 90 days, 60 days? Yeah, 90 days. 90 days? Okay, perfect. I'll put that on the paperwork. And then uh, what kind of upgrades have you done to the property in the past five or so years, if any? Okay, I got it. So you have done a bunch of stuff. So you'd say it, it would be upgraded, or if we came in there, we would have to do some repairs. The only thing to do is the seller. Got it. Okay, thanks for that information, Mark. And then how does the roof and the AC? Do you know? <clears throat> I told you we just put a roof on it. Brand new roof on it. Okay, perfect. Literally two months ago. Okay, that sounds like a nice property. Sounds like a sounds like a good property. Um, I mean, we can help you out in more ways than just purchasing the property. Is there any specific reason why you're looking to sell? Yeah, is there any specific reason why you're looking to sell? Okay, you just want to move somewhere else. Okay, and then um, I mean, it seems like a nice property. Do you know how much you want for it? Ballpark range? How much were you looking to get for the property? I don't know. 
Okay. Yeah. May I ask how you came up with that number? I like it. You like it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just pulling up some properties in the area, and I do see them for like the 600s, high 600s, but I didn't see anything over 700. So we probably have to pass on that. But have you ever – have you? Ever, Four thousand eight hundred. Yours is a little bit bigger than everybody else's. Right. I don't. You must not have read the questionnaire I filled out. Is you're just asking me all the same questions I already answered. Got it. So did you see anything for five thousand square feet? Understood. Hey, can I ask you this? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever thought about selling the property on terms or like an owner finance or a seller finance? When you say a good down payment, what kind of down payment were you look? Would you look for? At least fifty percent. Fifty percent. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then, when you do list it on the market, are you working with a real estate agent? What's that? And it, when you do put it on the market, are you working with a real estate agent? Am I working for a real estate agent? Are, are you working with a real estate agent? Well, I'd love to get you our contact information to our real estate agent. He sold millions of dollars worth of real estate in the area, and he can get you in front of the most qualified buyers. Can I, set, can I set up that call and send you over his information? Not unless he's going to buy it. And I, I filled out a thing. It said someone can call me with an offer. Yeah. So uh, we will buy your property. I, I can definitely get you an officer. We'll buy your property as is. You don't have to spend any time or money fixing it up. But I would be more closer to five hundred and sixty to like six hundred twenty thousand dollars. Can I get you an exact offer? Really? You say you're offering six twenty. We would be around five eighty to six twenty. Can I get you an exact offer? No. All right. Not, not a problem, sir. Do you have any other properties you'd be interested in selling? Do you have any other properties you'd be interested in selling? No, this is the last one. It's sold all the Understood. Okay, well, best of luck to you, sir. Have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye. Retail. Not really an innovation either. <laughs> no excuses, my friends. Six minutes. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Richie. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. You are required. Fuck. Yes, it's all good. You still got plenty of time. You're saying you score on points. You know, um, controlling things you have control over. This next thing you're going to have to talk them through, start to finish, just go. I think go the next call is just going to be a points points game. Yeah, yeah. In five minutes, you have, to, you have to just rack up the point. But he's going to do what he's able to do, you know. I've closed deals in five minutes. <laughs> Come on, talk that talk, Cassie. Talk that. <laughs> Tell how you taught RJ everything he knows. Go ahead and tell him. Right. <laughs> Fuck. You got this. You got all day. Yeah, I'm good. I got five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's I really do want to close on that. Got it. Hi, I'm looking for Rosie. Yes. Hey, Ro hey Rosie. It's Orion ATS Capital. Uh, you, I got an online submission about a property uh, that you seemed like you wanted to sell on 18348 West Avenue D Unit 28 in Lancaster. Yes. Like, it's yeah, good. Mm -hmm. We were purchasing properties in there. I can definitely get you an offer. It just take me a few moments to ask you a few questions. Can I? Uh, mm -hmm. Is this your primary property? Is it rented out or is it vacant? No, it's not vacant. It's primary. It is your primary property? Okay. Yes. And then if we could come to an agreement, Rosie, how soon could you close on it? As soon as possible. When you say soon as possible, would that be 90 days, 60 days, or 30 days just for paperwork purposes? Uh, 30 days. 30 days? Okay, I can put that on the mm -hmm. paperwork. And then any idea where you're looking to get for it, Rosie? Um, 
okay um it's what if i'm going to put it online on uh, uh for sale with the real estate agent mm -hmm. it's worth like 170. it's worth you 170 know? right now so if you were to 170 yeah it's worth well, 170. So so if you were to uh, list it with a, uh, with a with a realtor, you put it on for one hundred seventy thousand dollars. Yes. So minus the commissions and minus any closing or uh, holding costs, so it'd probably be about mm -hmm. fifteen thousand dollars. So one seventy minus fifteen thousand. So you're looking to walk away with like one fifty five if you put it on the market. I see that you had it. Uh -huh. on yeah, I see that you did have it on the market at one time for a couple of days, but it looked like it didn't go through. Was there any specific reason why you took it off? Um, yeah, because the agent wasn't. Um, I, I didn't like him. I didn't like the agent. He like wasn't agent. working on it. Yeah, he wasn't working on it. OK, got no. it. I got yeah. it. And then what, what, may I ask you, Rosie, um, the inside of the property. Yeah. Uh, our offer is based on the condition of the property. Have you done any upgrades in the property in the past five or so oh, years? Tons of upgrades. Tons of upgrades. When you say tons of upgrades, are we, do we have like the grays, the whites, the vanities, backsplash, stainless steel appliances, granite countertops? Uh, yeah, two new bathrooms, kitchen, new kitchen, granite countertop, new sink, new uh, disposal, new paint, new drywalls, uh, new lights, new windows, new flooring, okay. new drywalls. I mean, it sounds like a nice property. I mean, we can help you out in more ways than just purchasing a property. Is there any specific reason why you're looking to sell it? Down, downsizing, moving, uh, relocating. You're relocating. Okay, and then would you yes. need any help with any realtors to find the new location? No. No? no. You got that covered? <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. And then besides yourself, Rosie, is there anybody else involved in making a decision? Uh, my son. Your son? Have you and your son talked about selling the property? Yes. yes so he would yeah. be on board with it if you if you agreed to uh, if you agreed to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. His, his his name is on the title. Got it. Okay. And then um, so so a little bit about us, Rosie. We'll purchase your property as is, so you don't spend any time or money fixing it up before closing. We'll also close in your timeline. I know you mentioned you wanted a down growth ground grade, so as long as the title is clear, we'll close on the property. And then I think the best part is it's going to be a cash transaction. So there's no crazy bank inspections. It'll be a smooth, easy transaction. So for an offer like that, I need to be in between $120,000 to $140,000. Can I get you an exact offer? Yeah. Okay, one moment. Okay. I'm, going to get, I'm going to get a number approved real quick, and then I'll be right back on the line. Just hold for about 45 seconds. Okay. All right. Sounds perfect. Hey, Miss Rosie. Yes. So uh, I did get proof for a number. Again, we'll just buy your property as is. And I did get approved for a cash transaction. So as long as the title is clear, you'll have your monies and you can move on to the next property. So for an offer like that, I got approved for $129,913.23. Can I send you the paperwork? Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what is your what is your email address? It's Rosie, R-O-S-I-E-A-J-A-M-I-A-N, as in Nancy, 21, at gmail.com. At gmail.com. Okay. So to speed up the process, we would need photos of the property, like 30, 40 photos. Could you send them over to this number today? Okay. And then just to confirm, it's Rosie, A-J-M-I-A. A N two one at gmail.com, correct? A J A. A J A. Mm -hmm. M -O -N. Wow. Wow. 21, 21, 21 at, at gmail.com. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Man. Wow. Well, 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 well. Listen, that was round, that was round one. And we're just getting started. Looks like he got a couple verbals in there. The judges are right now scoring, and that was that was amazing. But I want to know this. I want to know this, and, and and definitely type it in the chat if you can. What did you guys think about the calls? What did you guys think about uh, his negotiation style? Right. I want to know your feedback. So if you can go ahead and put that feedback 
in the chat right now. I want to get some opinions on this. I want to definitely get some opinions on this. And also, also, if you haven't already, make sure, make sure that you're tapping in, right? And you're going to closersolympics.com to make sure that you're picking up your tickets early. You want to get those early bird tickets, okay? So you definitely want to tap into that and get that. But I want to look at some of these opinions that you guys got right now. All right, so we got... um. Okay. So, okay. All right. So, so dang, some of y'all are a little rough. Okay. <laughs> All right. So some people, it looks like, uh, okay. So he doesn't have much rapport. Okay. All right. So you didn't think that he did a good job on, on that. Okay. Uh, I could, okay. He couldn't, uh, went lower. Okay. So he could have went a little lower. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. All right. So we got, we got a lot of opinions way too fast, man. Y'all are rough. Y'all are rough, man. Wait a minute. Not too much on H Town like that, man. Y'all need to, y'all need to back off of my, my city like that. I'm feeling I'm I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> listen, I'm claiming my city right now. Okay, so he could have went a little bit lower. Okay. All right. Just offer too much. All right. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna definitely see what the judges uh are gonna come back with. I'm excited to see these expert opinions. Okay, so zero report. So a lot of people are harping on the rapport and they're saying that it went a little too fast and offered too much. All right. Well, okay. We're going to see what the judges got to say about this though. I want to know what the judges are going to say about this. So without further ado, I want to know which one of my judges are going to give him the score that he needs to get to that next level. Cassie, what were your thoughts? Well, I have a lot of really good thoughts. Um, I actually thought there was a lot of really good things that Orion did in this showcase, and there's so much actually people can learn from him. I really liked a few things, but I, however, could not score him as high as I really would have wanted to. Um, that was just because he wasn't hitting those points. Um, I felt like at first, I feel like he's a fast talker to begin with. At first, he came out talking extra fast, probably a little bit of nerves get, you know, getting those out. It's normal, but you know, he wasn't really getting rapport. He wasn't really going hard on negotiations. So I did give him a couple of points for negotiations. He did throw down one creative offer that got immediately shut down. Um, you know, he didn't really try to deal with an, uh, any of the objections was offering over MAO. Um, he did do some good work on identifying pain um his his verbal agreements i didn't really feel like the first one was a verbal agreement i feel like he just you know yeah. threw out you know a number and the guy basically just told him you know hey if i don't get a better offer you know and plus he was not that guy yeah. was not working with him a lot of it i think had to do with the rushing and then these sellers are they're interrupting each other right yeah it was so a yeah, and I would guess in his normal day today without that shot clock, his first time at the Closer Olympics, you know, he's slowing down a little bit. They're not talking yeah. over each other. He's taking a little bit more time to, you know, have that better conversation and listening more. So that would be my points. What I loved, what I loved, and I wrote down here what he did was, um, you know, he he was definitely giving them like that range at that time with Rosie, you know, um, I really liked that because it, it applied really well. And then he's, he had a lot, a couple of really, really good points in there where he's talking about, you know, how he's, how he's telling them, you know, if I give you an offer, are you going to accept it today? You know, there was a lot of really strong moments in there, but I just feel like he didn't quite land it with any of the sellers because he was hoping to get on with a more motivated seller. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Well, listen, thank you so much, Cassie. My guy, Liam. What's going on? Oh, man. What's your scores like, man? What are your thoughts on this, man? Let's let's talk about it. My thoughts are the clock got to him. I think that he had what I call commission breath. He Ooh. wanted to get to the close so bad he tried to get to Z that he skipped through A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and the rest of the letters. He went for the close hard, which I can respect, but he didn't spend much time building rapport, didn't, didn't go through his options. I think one good thing to note is, you know, when you have this time crunch, 
you've got to take your time with each person and try to maximize each one for the most amount of points. And I think he just went for too, too hard for the close. Got it. Well, it is what it is. Thank you so much, Liam, for that. Uh, Elijah, man, the scores have been a little rough, man. What are your thoughts? Well, hey, I, did, I didn't want to be the Steve Trang uh, this time around, round two, all right? <laughs> so I was, I was trying to look for some of the good things he did. I think he did a solid job at um, identifying some pain on a couple of the calls. He he married a couple of times back. Um, I do think he he rushed it a little too much. Um, I think he could have butted it on the rapport side. Um, he didn't really handle the rejections well. I think the time, I think what, what Liam said, I think the time, the shot clock played to him. And he did, he got kind of caught up in the show. Your goal here is not to teach, not to talk to the audience. Your goal is here to close, lock in. So I think I think that kind of played into it. Um, but it's his first time on here. I mean, he, he's learned. I think he, I gave him five points on identifying pain. Um, he got the verbal agreement, but it, it's I think it's too high on the MAO, 24,000 above MAO. Um, but yeah, I think he, he did do his best, but I don't think that's going to get it done. Wow. Well, I definitely want to get what Orion thinks about his score. Listen, I think the scores were a little rough, man. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the scores? I think you're muted. Uh, you gotta, you gotta unmute, man. Let's get back in the game. I told, I mean, at the end of the night, these are the judges. They've been in the game for a while. This is their thing, so they're they're judging it on something. So, uh, you know, I have my style of technique. When we're talking about rapport, I don't talk about the dog or the the garden in the backyard. I, I build rapport through asking questions. When people open up and engage with you, this is when they start engaging, and you build rapport that way. An unconscious rapport. I mean, my sales game is straight, dude. Like we're doing, we're doing this. This is something I do each and every day. So it's like this is more fun, and it's something whereas in like I appreciate the opportunity. If we make it to the next round, let's go get it. If not, at the end of the night, I appreciate everybody and I, everybody watching as well. But this is something we do every single day, my friend. The sales game, this is nothing I take lightly. This is something I eat, sleep, and breathe every single it. day, my friend. Love it. Well, hey, listen. the score. Hey, can I close down that rosy, though? I know you guys said it a little too high, but I guarantee I'll sell that one. I saw <laughs> the ARV was like 200. Can I lock it up? Because Rosie's calling me right now. Hey. Can I lock it up? Lock it up. That's cool. Thank you, Liam. Lock it up. Lock it up, man. Appreciate that. Wow. Well, we just ended round one. Round one has just ended. And I'll be honest, you know, listen, I, I, I have mixed feelings, but my feelings don't matter. It's about what the scores say. And the scores are a little rough coming in. So I'm looking forward to seeing what my guy KP is going to do. Listen, 29 points. 29 points is what Orion got. So now it's really going to be on KP, man, to see what KP is going to be able to do on this one. Um, listen, my guy's coming in from Southern California, right? 23-year-old real estate uh, 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 investor, right? With 20, no, 23 years of real estate investment. Oh my God, this is insane. My guy, KP, the OG, Kendrick Perkins. Listen, I just want to see how you feeling uh, right now. Do you feel like you're going to kill this thing? What's your thoughts? Where you at with this? Well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Orion. Orion. I thought he did a good job. You know, uh, I can see where the shot clock comes in a little bit, uh, but I'm just going to do my thing. Uh, a, I want to say I'm very grateful uh, to everybody that's allowed me to get to this point. I do consider it an honor and a privilege to be in the Closers Olympics. I am very grateful for the opportunity to be here. And I'm just going to do what I do, and I think I'm going to get a contract. That's what I think. I love it. KP, the OG. That's what I'm going with, man. I love it. Listen, let's go ahead and get this party started, man. We're going to bring on the judges. Yes, yes. Let's go, KP. All righty. Here we go. Get it rocking and rolling. I'm ready for this. Let's see, I and, think and that the consistent thing is no matter what, it's always such a fun time listening to people close. Yeah, it's like it never gets old watching other closers put on the mastery and show their skill set. And, and there's so much you can learn from this. And so I'm, I'm taking notes. I'm seeing a little techniques adding to my closers gumbo, what you guys should be doing, too. Oh, absolutely. There's so much to learn from every one of these people. And like I said, just because like O'Brien, oh, I mean, he honestly, he still put on really, really good showcase. It's just the clock ran out before he could stack them points up, you know? Yep. I think that's a good lesson for everybody else that 
Take your time when you can to get as many points as you can. Yep. And he had to go first. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, shout out to Orion. He, he had to he had to put himself first out there. He's the sacrificial lamb. But he, like I said, let's see how everybody else does it. Let's see how everybody does it. Time crunching under pressure. That's tough. It's tough no matter what. Man, I, I think we're in for a surprise with KP. I heard a lot of good things hey, about it. Hey, Lark, this is Kevin. I'm just giving you a call because it looks like somebody was online, left us a message that you might be interested in selling Misty Dale Drive in Katy, Texas. Wanted to talk to you about that. If you'd be so kind, please call me back at 909-500-2205. Once again, 909-500-2205. And I'm also going to give you a call back later. Hope you're having a great day. Bye for now. Yep. See? Yeah, he hasn't talked to someone, so the clock hasn't officially started. But I like I like I like him edging the bets against him. Hey, that doesn't count against me. Let me get a phone call back in. He's creating his own inbound lead. Look at him. I like it. I like it. I've seen a lot of good come from from RJ specifically doing uh doing voicemails, getting calls back. He's gotten See? more than a few deals signed. See. <laughs> It's good. And see, so I think the, the more time you take and the more cool, calm, and collect you stay, it allows you to, you know, calm your nerves, lie to be locked in, you know. <laughs> see, Jen, the closer with the, the wholesome, the wholesome closer. <laughs> OG. <laughs> I mean, I definitely like that smooth confidence, yeah. you know. Mm. Just run your normal game. Don't speed it up or slow it down. The speed should be gained by asking more efficient questions rather than rushing through your words. Hello, this is Wade. I'm not available to answer your call right now. Please leave me a message and I'll give you a phone call back as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To send it back, press 4 now. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hey, Wade, this is Kevin. Looks like you're online. Left us a forum about your place on Clardy Drive in Columbus. Just wanted to follow up with you about that personally and have a conversation. If you'd be so kind, please give me a call back at 909-500-2205. That's 909-500-2205. And I'm going to try you again later as well. Bye for now. I love that sign off. Bye for now. Bye for now. I bye bye it. now. <laughs> I like it. I like it. See, that might be your your uncle. That might be your cousin, a friend of the family. You know, he has that type of that definitely wholesome energy for sure. I feel like I'm listening to a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> Good Christmas. Uh, KP, I highly recommend lowering the volume so you don't hear us. Because I, it will get distracted. Sometimes we might say some things between it. So okay, as long sure. as you guys can still hear me, it's all good. Yeah. So yes, yeah, sir. Look in the chat. Look in all the right, chat. I don't. I don't you. mind the chatter. It makes it feel good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's just sometimes it rattles some of the the nerves. Sometimes. No, you guys are all good. I have too much ADD for that. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> I have to start talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think the the more dials. Hey, Mike. Can... This is Kevin. How you doing today? Oh, Kevin. You know, I'm sick right now, and I'm waiting for a couple of calls back. Can I can I have you call me back in maybe three or four hours? Absolutely. I'm sorry you're not feeling good. I, I apologize for that. What I usually recommend is whiskey. Just burn it out with whiskey, my friend. Yeah, I've tried that. It's not working. <laughs> All right. I'll give you a ring back later. Thanks, Mike. Bye for now. See, that's a tough one now because that starts the clock. Yeah. Yeah, it starts the clock, you know. So now it's on official. Yep. He was able to talk with somebody. I like how burning out with whiskey, you know, so you just connect with people. You can see he, he's, so yeah. he's good at rapport. You can see it. You can feel it. 
he got a laugh out of the guy early, which I think if you have somebody laughing or crying, you're in a, you're, you're building rapport in a good way right there. I think that so he got some points there, but that one was risky. I gotta go. Yeah, that one was risky. What if he's a, you know. My, my thing, I would, I would have kept taking the call. I mean, he did. I let him hang up on me, like he's been on whiskey. Well, what else have you tried? You know, and I, I would have kept going. He, he like, I'm sick. I told you, I'm sick and click. But if they don't hang up, I'm still talking. All right. So, so, but that's just the vibes. That's just the vibes we on. So let me get this next one. Nine, eight, five, four. Plenty of time. Not Plenty available. Of time. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Mark, this is Kevin. Looks like you're online. Left us a form about your property on West Hills Drive in Williamsport. Just following up with you to have a conversation about that. If you'd be so kind, please give me a call back at 909-500-2205. Once again, 909-500-2205. 2205, and I'll give you a ring back as well. Thank you. call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two, four, eight, eight, seven, five, three, eight, seven, six is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hi, Abir. My name's Kevin. Looks like you were online. Left us a note about Oakley Park Road in West Bloomfield. If you'd be so kind, please give me a call back at 909-500-2205. Once again, 909-500-2205. I'd love to chat with you about it. Bye for now. Yeah, what's the clocks on? I don't know how many voicemails I would be leaving because I, I know that's eating up my time then. Before the clock stops, cool. You know, I want to try to get as, to as many of these calls as I can. Well, I would rather double dial, but not triple dial, right? <laughs> what, what was RJ saying yesterday? Like, you triple no, dial. <laughs> what we do is we double dial, but we don't double dial back to back. We dial, leave that voicemail, or shoot a text, and then we give it, a like, five mm -hmm. minutes before we dial again. So that we're not, like, we've had so many people when we double dial, like, get pissed, say it's rude, so on and so forth. So we let it breathe for a minute, you know, and then we call them back. We're, we're trying to stay in front of them two, three times in a given day mm -hmm. if we don't make contact. But we like to throw a text in the middle of that. During this competition, I wouldn't be leaving too many more voicemails. I would have, you know, and this is probably one of the benefits of not going first right. um, is have that text message ready on your phone. Copy yeah. and paste. Agreed. On these inbounds. We know that they're ready. We know that they want to get offers, but they're, they're oftentimes they go and they fill out one form. They fill out five. When they do that, they're starting to get all these messages from all these people. So it gets lost in the sauce. So getting in contact with them early on is going to be, it's always going to be your best bets. Why we call ourselves speed to lead. The faster you get in contact with them, the more likely you are to convert the, the contacts early on are going to be the most important or the attempts rather are going to be the most important. Right. But with the clock burning, it makes it tough. I also always say, like, if somebody calls me and I don't have their number, I'm one of those people. If you text me and let me know, 
what you're calling for. We're calling for. You're gonna hook me. I'm not gonna listen to your voicemail till like three days later. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, you know. Hey, at least you're keeping it real. At least you're keeping it real, y'all. Right. There's there's the that uh, avatar out there, you know. So you got to try to stay in front of them, and like Liam said, it is speed to lead. So getting in front of them, heck yeah. Yeah, see, putting those pieces in place. And, and at the end of the day, it's a numbers game, regardless of if you're cold calling, PPC, SMS, mailers, it's a numbers game. The more people you touch, the more opportunities you have to get in front of them. Let's get it. Let's get it. We got Please some leave your message for. Now, when you're calling somebody and it immediately goes to voicemail after one ring, that means that person declined that call, usually thinking you're a scammer. That's an instance where I would double dial right right away. Makes sense. I also shoot them a text saying I'm following up about this address. Yeah. And I call them back. I'm just trying to get them to answer when I call. Mm -hmm. Or call me. Please leave your message for six five zero three 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 six three one seven. You got this, you got this, You're going after it. I think what's really cool is, you know, this is the times when you're making the calls and no one's watching you. You just, you just kind of put yourself in KP shoes. Like, well, what would you do? Well, you're thinking. You saw Orion start saying Mark was going to answer the phone. You saw you put that energy out there. And what we think about, we bring about you. He brought it, he brought it to existence. So, you know, put those, put yourself out there, you know. I got my vision boards up behind me. I'm, I'm sitting there looking at those as I dial, and, you know, just just feed my mindset, feed my subconscious. What do I want to see? What do I want to manifest? How do I want to, how do I want to feel? It's the little things that you do repetitively over the course of time that creates that compound effect, you know. I think also, like, once you've done this, like, long enough, like, you know, you're just waiting for the next person that you can actually hell to pick up the phone mm -hmm. you know so it's just a matter of staying in front of them until you're the fit for them you know that's it that's it sales is a numbers game yep no way around that there's no way around that and so and and, and that's another thing in this sales competition once he gets someone after you go you know a couple calls without talking to somebody you get someone do you stay full time on them or do you let me talk about something else? Or what if I don't get someone else? So this starts going into your strategy a little bit. That's another one I would call right back. They declined it. Why do you think they declined it? It rang like five times. If it goes to voicemail, it's usually going to ring for 25 or 30 seconds. Most people, most iPhones, most Samsungs, they're not going to, they're not going to have a shorter, shorter ring period there. Hmm. See? Absolutely. I see you, Adrian. I see you, Adrian. Let's get it. Let's go, y'all. You got this. You got this.
story. All, all righty then. Keep at it. Keep at it. All number 12. Magic. Magic 12. I heard, I heard, I heard a 12 is the, the baker's dozen. The baker's dozen right there. Come on. It is what it is. This is how we do it during real life, right? So, right, KP. It's, it's just numbers. Of all of football, is number 12. You got it. You got it. Dial and smile. Dial and smile. And so, all right. So, I think, I think what's really important, and I, as you're making these calls, you know, I like to. I'm a fan of doing, you know, pre-call affirmations. Doing my pre-call affirmations, have my music set for me, so I'm able to, you know, when when you go through a couple calls like this, and you haven't gotten a hold of the people you like, you want to. Keep yourself pumped. Keep yourself in the right position, right mindset with it. It definitely, it definitely plays a position. I think also it's like paying attention to time zones. So like we're calling nationwide, right? And like we here at Titanium, we call all over the country. You know, sometimes if we're not having traction in like a certain time zone, we'll really pay attention and just start hitting those time zones that might be more in the thick of power hour. If we're like dialing a lot and we're not getting like a whole lot of answers or traction, we'll come back and we'll hit those again, surely, like later in the day or maybe. But, you know, you reach Lauren, leave a message. Okay. So that's, a, that's a that's what Liam was saying. If they're going to voicemail that quick, dial them again, because usually people don't have their phones turned off. Right. Like it's just mm -hmm. they're sending you to voicemail because they don't recognize your number. Um, but yeah, I would just say like, you know, specifically in this competition, like think about the fact, like what time zone are you calling? Like if you're calling, like we even call in like Alaska, Hawaii, you know, you have to be really focused because they. Uh, do not disturb mode. True. I don't ever use that. <laughs> <laughs> I just mute it and get to it when I get to it. <laughs> I love how KP is totally not shook too. Oh, he, he's you know cool. he's collected like it's the athlete's making his first phone call here. Right. He's like, I, I've been doing this 23 years. <laughs> hey Robin. My girl. Are you, are you, is he calling from a Google number or a call rail number or just your regular cell phone number? I'm wondering if his number isn't coming across as spam call or spam, spam. Right. Number. <laughs> Golly, that was funny. <laughs> Please leave your message for Man. Um I think uh like I said, uh do you have like a call rail number or a separate number you could try to call from? So yeah, I'm actually I'm actually using a gonna use a different number now. We're gonna try it out. But this is the number I use every day, but um it is what it is. So yeah. let's try it this up. This looks like real life. That's absolutely it. It's real life. Yeah, I mean, you still got all kinds of time on the shot clock, KP. Like you really. Yeah, I'm not really panicking. Know. I'll panic when the last second ticks off. <laughs> Even that, I doubt you will. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Yeah, this would her be... cell phone. Nobody uses. Nobody gets that number. I call on my cell phone sometimes just because. <laughs> I'm trying anything right now. <laughs> uh, it's all good. 
Come on, that's, it's only 16 in a row or 15, whatever. Yeah. How bad can it go? <laughs> you guys got this. You guys got this. Look, I'm being honest with you. My my team calls speed to lead all of the time. I personally call them all the time. And there will be some days where we'll just go on a little stint and I'll be talking like I'm reading through the guys in the CRM and I'm like, look, y'all, how many, many of y'all want to bet? I start dialing these and I get at least three answers in the first five. And they'll be like, no, Hello, Charles. What's this? This is Kevin. How are you doing today? Uh, I don't know Kevin. I know you don't know me, but actually you were online, left a form about Field and Drive in Paris. Do you remember doing that? Uh, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Well, when you do that, you get me, right? So <laughs> I just wanted to reach out to you real quick and have a quick conversation with you about it. Do you have a minute? Sure. All right, fantastic. Well, you know, it takes a lot to get online and actually fill out a form and, you know, want somebody to call you back. What had you doing that in the first place? I'm considering of selling my house but for the right price. Okay, so you're considering selling for the right price. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And uh, are you just going to move somewhere else or is it a rental That's for you? Idea. What's going on? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm planning to uh, move. Okay, you're going to move. And are you going to stay yeah. in California or are you going to get the heck out of California like a million of our closest friends? Uh, I don't know whether I stay in the country or not. Okay. Oh, in country. Big plans. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. All righty. And in a perfect world, Charles, if we were able to come to some sort of terms today, what would that timeline look like for you? When would you want to be in another country? Uh, within 60 days. Oh, within 60 days. Okay. I like it. Certainly something we can do. And in order to make that happen, uh, you know, ultimately uh, we pay cash for properties. We cover all the closing costs. We like easy and we like simple. Uh, do you like easy and simple? Of course. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, in order for me, I'm, I'm literally going to have you an offer before we get off the phone today. Uh, but could you tell me a little bit about the property? You know, I know roughly based on uh, the square footage and all that sort of thing, about what it's going to cost us to do the inside of the property, but could you just give me a quick thumbnail sketch about what that looks like? Um, it's move-in condition. Move-in condition. Yeah. yeah, there is no repairs except for um, a little bit of paint on the garage door. Okay, some paint on the garage door. Okay. And I could replace a pergola wood. Um, they need to replace but that's a couple hundred bucks and where is where is that pergola wood uh, in the back oh it's in the back okay yeah that's about it and there's a solar lease that i recently acquired okay. because at that time i thought i was going to be here for a bit mm -hmm. and is that but transferable i'm sorry is that transferable yes it is okay it's a solar lease. perfect and sometimes they aren't so i gotta ask Oh, they are. That's the first thing I have. Okay, perfect. All right, so basically, you'd love to get out of the country if you can. Uh, the house is in moving condition. You could do it in about 60 days. A uh, garage door needs a little work. Uh, a solar lease backyard. Some perugula wood needs a little bit done. Uh, all good. Um, is there, you know, like say, as I said, we can we can pretty much figure out about what we would do, if anything, to your particular property. What I'm always interested in in knowing is the the big stuff because uh, what i call them the whoops factor so and those are the the big ticket items like the roof the foundation electrical plumbing hvac are there any problems with any of those things that you know of no central ac is working uh appliances are 2015 okay um, 2015. water heater is working perfectly fine maintained really well okay gotcha. um no issues with the plumbing, no issues with electrical. There's no foundation issues at the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got you. Well, in California, almost all of them have a little sla a little, a little scratch in them or you know, a little crack. But as long as it's not shifted or anything like that, we can. We can oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Nothing. All right. Fantastic. All right. Well, I appreciate you bearing with me for the interrogation there. And ultimately, uh, the way this works is like say we give you a cash offer we pay all your closing costs it's all legal and above board so it does go through escrow and there's a title company and we get title insurance all the stuff that you had to do when you bought the house and at the end of the day 
in order to get you out of the country and 60 days and get you where you want to be. And in that time frame, what are you looking to get for the property? Well, the typical uh, price in the area, the home in the area is about $550, mm -hmm. $560. Um, so somewhere between $520. Okay. 520 and 550 is what I hear you saying. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to just shoot straight with you. Do I have permission to do that? Of course. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, at the end of the day, on the cash offer side, we're, we're kind of like the HGTV guys. We're just not famous and we don't have a TV show, right? But we're mostly looking for the houses that need some love and then we love them up and we either keep them or sell them on the backside. So your house is not really a perfect model for that, right? But we are a full service real estate company. So let me ask you, do you need all of the money to get out of the country? Uh, are you looking to just cash out or do you have a mortgage left? What's going on? I have a mortgage left. Okay. Is it a significant mortgage amount? About 250. Okay. So about half. And if you, if we were able to, to cover the mortgage and get you a little walk away money uh, with cash in your pocket, uh, would you consider uh, you know, elevating from owner to the bank and maybe carrying a note on the property? What do you mean by that? Well, basically, like I say, there's a couple things we could do with a mortgage. Number one, we could just take off the pay, take over the payments. And then we could, you know, give you some cash to take with you out of the country. And then we just create a, a payment structure whereby we would pay it off over time uh, with a balloon payment at the end, that sort of thing. Is, is that something you would consider? Or are you just looking to cash out? I uh, know that's no, because I'm still going to be somewhat responsible for it. Okay. All right. So you're just trying to get out of being responsible for it at all. And I'm not, I, yeah. That kind of came out like a bad thing. That's not what I'm saying at all, really. Uh, I perfectly well understand. Well, let me ask you this. We are a full service real estate company. And uh, I think I'm looking at a picture of it online because Mr. Google knows everything. Uh, it looks like a nice house. You've described it as a nice house. Uh, half of our company actually is a brokerage. Uh, have you considered listing the property? And now you would pay commissions and fees, but your net net's going to be way closer to what you're asking. Would you consider me having one of the realtors reach out to just to let you know what that looks like? Uh, no. Uh, no. That's, All right. No. All right. No worries. Hey, I appreciate your time today. We do not work with everybody that we talk to, uh, and that's okay. You know, at the end of the day, uh, sometimes we just have to part friends. Is that okay that we do that with you too? Of course. All right. Well, I do appreciate your time this afternoon, Charles. You've been friendly and polite. I appreciate it, and I wish you the best of luck. You too. Boy. All right. You take care. All right, so got a chance to we had, we had, we added a couple, you know, another ten minutes uh, to the clock for him. Like I said, we want to make sure we want to hear him close. We want off at the same time we don't want to be here for five hours, but we want to hear him close. We want to give KP a fair shot at that, and it looks like he really started taking control of that call. You guys you got a chance to see how smooth like butter this guy is, KP to OG. I think see that him. he had about five or ten. Excellent one-liners in there. I think the comments are putting those out right now. Mr. Google knows everything. I like that one. He's, um, I don't know. He's just got all these, all these one-liners. And it might have been the, it might have been the phone number. He switched the phone number up, and he already got some people talking. So that might have been a big help. So that's a reminder to you guys: if you, if you're not, if you keep getting voicemail, voicemail, the phone number might have got tagged. Solid rapport, build some connection. I'd love to see him. Uh, took a couple more shots at the lower MAO number. You no, know, I'd love to see him take a couple more shots at the MAO. You know, especially if you're going to hang up, you know, if we're going to wrap up, what's the best pot? What's the best number you do? I prefer them. I, I prefer people hanging up on me, honestly. Uh, I, I don't really like, I don't, I'm never going to be disrespectful, but if they don't hang up, it's not a no, right? They can easily just hang up. And I, I agree. Go for the no. Real life, 150%. You know? <laughs> and I have one of the things I know since I, I will talk less when we score unless he gets on here. But one of the things oh. I really like is, you know, I also own a brokerage and I also say we're a full service company. You know, I'd like to throw out, I like to throw out net, you know, like how can I solve this for you? You know, 
here's going to be the different ways we can go about it. And talking to, talking to people about what they net is something like I started doing when I started running net as an agent, because I'm an, an investor first, we decided I should get my license, open a brokerage. And look, I love, I love that because when you start talking to people and identifying their pain points, you start saying, you know, we can go this way. Oh, I don't want to be stuck in this property. You know, well, have you considered listing it? I would never consider listing it. So it's just like <laughs> in real life right there, what I would have done is said, well, what, how do you intend to sell your property? <laughs> I was going to say the exact thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you intend to find an owner occupant that's going to buy. Hello. A Hello, Mike. This is Kevin. How you doing? Doing good. Awesome. Hey, I am calling you today because you had filled out a form online. Oh, hang, hang on. A form for what? Uh, you filled out a form online about Hillside Street in Seglin, Texas, and maybe Seguin, wanting to. Texas. Thank you, sir. And you filled out that form and maybe want to sell that property. Is that right? So they offered me 244. Okay. Uh, that seems all uh, like a good thing. Did it's one thing to get an offer, it's a whole nother thing to get a piece of paper with that written on it. Did they actually send you an agreement? Sure, go ahead. No, I said, did they send you an agreement? Do you have a written oh, a written? Yeah, they, well, it, it, that's actually with an, uh, a realtor. Oh, a realtor. So, so yeah. So was he offering to list it at that price, or was he offering to buy it at that price? Uh, what do you want to buy it for? Well, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked that, because that's where we're going next. Uh, you know, I'll have you an offer here in just a moment. But what has you thinking about selling it in the first place? Uh, I'm moving back to Iowa. I retired. My wife died about four years ago. So. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Uh, so the house is too big for yeah, you now. Or too many memories. Okay, so you're going back to Iowa, and the house, the house now has too many memories, or is this too big for you? What, what's going on there? Uh, got a girlfriend up there. I may be 71, but there's still fire in there. I love that. I'm 65. <laughs> I'm right behind you, so that's inspiring, man. That's inspiring. I love it. And so she's in Iowa, or she's in Texas? She's in Iowa. Okay. And is this so an old? I got a, I got a house that's uh, uh, paid for up there also. Oh, I see. So it wasn't just random chance that you met some gal in Iowa. You were up okay. there or something. Is that right? That is true. Okay. Fantastic. All right. So you've got a house there, and I'm assuming she's got a house there too? Correct. So you guys can still have your own space but be together at the same time. That's awesome. That, that's true. Is that kind of what you're planning? Yeah, I'm just going to move up there and move in with her. Okay. And then I'm going to buy some property up there someplace. Okay. And what are you going to do with the house that you have up there now? Oh, oh live in it. I mean, like property, like uh, on a river or something, you know. Oh, I 20 see. acres or something like that. Okay. So you're outdoor man? Oh, yeah. All right. Fantastic. Well, at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to get you off here in just a second. Could you tell me a little bit about the condition of the property? Oh, it's good. I'm working on the last bedroom right now. Everything has been repainted, redone. Got a new water heater, washer and dryer staying with it, dishwasher staying with it, stove and refrigerator staying with it. Okay. Uh, parquet, uh, or pardon me, the living room, parquet, wooden floors. Okay. Uh, parquet, that's been around a minute. Yeah, and uh, it all looks good. It all right. looks good for the house anyway, for the fireplace. Okay. And then uh, the kitchen, it's got uh, um, that wood plank stuff in there. Yeah, that wood plank stuff, I, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, know what you mean. I don't know what the hell it is. But anyway, it's tough and shit. <laughs> All right. And you probably tested that, I'm guessing, at one point or another. Oh, yeah. It's, it's been in, in there for about 10 years. It's all the time. Okay. Fantastic. How about the outside of the house? Anything going on out there? No. 100% brick. All been uh, the patient board, everything. It's hard to like house. It's been painted. The roof is about eight years old. 
Okay. Got the 30 year shingles on it. Uh, air conditioner is probably about 15 years old, but it's fine. Okay. Been serviced regular when they buy me. I do everything myself. Well, a handy fella indeed. That's it. On about a third of an acre. Okay. I can see that. Yep. All right. Yeah. I can pull up a picture because, as I said, Mr. Google knows everything. And at the end well, of the. It's, it's about uh, three miles from anything you need to do. Uh, doctors, uh, vet, uh, hardware store. Okay. Uh, Home Depot, um, tractor supply, Walmart, and a grocery store. That seems like it's got yeah, all the bases you can covered. You ride a bike to any place I got to go. That's what I like about it. Nice. I see you got a. Was that a bass boat in the driveway, too? Yep, I'm going to fix that up and sell that, too. Nice. Not a lot of bass going on in Iowa? I do want to buy that, too. I'm well, just not going to pull it up to Iowa. I got another boat up there, too. I understand. Makes good sense. All right, well, generally, just so you know how it works with us, is we just pay cash for the properties. We cover all your closing costs. And at the end of the day, we like easy and we like simple. Is that something that worked for you? Sure, as long as the price is right, I'm easy to do anything. I got you. And in the perfect world, when we're able to come to some terms here today, when would you like to be up in Iowa to be closer to the girlfriend? Probably about uh, by the middle of June. Middle of June. Okay. I'm ac actually the 10th of this month. I'm taking one load up there too and staying up there 10 days and coming back to get another load. And that be the final, final shit on it then. Okay. All right, so that's not a problem. We could do a little extended escrow. We usually like them a little bit faster, but we're willing to work with you on that because we're not trying to chase extended you out. Extended escrow, what the hell is extended escrow? What that means is we give you plenty of time, right? Because at the end of the day, even though we pay cash and cover all your closing stock costs, in Texas, it's going to go through a, a local title company. In Texas, it's, right. it's all right. done through yeah. local. So it'd be the title process. And it takes, oh, okay. it, it takes them a minute to pull title in Texas, not as long as Oklahoma, but it takes a minute. But we'll just work with your time frame uh, in a way that would make sense for you. Because we're not, like say, we're not trying Everything to I push you out. For, so I'm not I completely understand that. The money talks, bullshit walks. I got you. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. You know, it looks, well, let me ask you this. You know, you know what you need to get away to be to, to go to Iowa and be comfortable. Uh, what's that look like? What's that look like for you? I need to get two hundred grand out of it. You need to get two hundred grand after all the fees and everything. Okay. Well, the good news is uh, no fees for you. Like I said, we cover all that stuff. We just pay uh -huh. cash and we cover all the fees. And let me ask you, if I could get you in the neighborhood of that, is that something you'd consider? Yeah, as long as it's more, that's fine. Okay. All right. Well, let me let me ask you this. As you're a older fellow like myself, and you've already got a plan and you got a house in Iowa, do you need all that money up front, or would you be willing to take some some pocket cash and then we could make you turn into Mr. Bank instead yeah, of Mr. Owner? Somebody, somebody else will already ask me that. Do it like in payment type deals. Mm -hmm. And what and what did you say to that? <clears throat> Absolutely not. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Hell, I'm 71 years old. I ain't got that much time left. In All right. Hey, come on. We got plenty of time. I'm not that far behind you. <laughs> Let me ask you this. If I could, if I could, and I'm sitting here, I'm waving at my underwriter right across the room right now, and he's coming over. He's taking a look. I, I emailed him your address. It looks good to me because here's how it works. There's two things going on here. I'm the guy that actually makes the offers. But I'm not the guy that writes the checks. And the guy that writes the checks is looking at it right now. So I'm just waiting for him to give me this thumbs up, sideways or down, right? So yeah. come on over there, Mark. What's going on, man? Give me just one second here. All right. So, hey, good news is we are definitely ready to do some business with you. So if I were able to get you an offer at... 200,000 cash in the barrel head, cover your closing costs and give you the time you need to move on. Is that something you'd be willing to sign if I sent it over to you today? Uh, maybe tomorrow, right now. I mean, yeah, I'm unavailable really right now. Okay, you're unavailable. 
but it's something you'd strongly consider. Is that right? That is correct assumption on your part, sir. All right. One of the few I've had today. So thank you for saying so. Uh, so, <laughs> so anyway, let's do this. Uh, how about this? How about if I go ahead and I can write it up. We have a simple one page agreement at the end of the day. You promise to be a good seller. We promise to be good buyers. And as long as the title comes back clean, I'll even give you 90 days in title. So you can have, it'll say 90 days or sooner. So if you got out faster, we could do that. Can I just send that to your email? And then if you can sign it tonight, great. If not, if you sign it tomorrow, that'd be great. I don't have an email. I've done away with this. You can just text me the form and I'll uh, look through it and send it back to you. All right. Well, I like that. That seems good. All right. I worked with computers and phones for 40 years. I don't know. I've all that over All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to text that over to you here in about five or six minutes. So let me sure. get that done for you. Remember, my name's Kevin. And, uh, you know, we're, we're a company that buys properties in your area. We actually buy properties in several areas, but we love Texas. So let me get that done for you. I'll get it. Put in a text and then you're going to open it when you can and you're going to look at it. Now, how are you going to sign it? Are you going to be able to print it and sign it and text back? Is that how that's going to work? I may. I'm actually, I don't have anything like that. Really. Okay. So, so uh, my, my way I've been telling everybody else, just fill it out, mark everything I need to sign and then mail it to me. Okay. That's I'd awesome. I'd rather do that than that computer horseshit. I know. Now, you know it's 2023, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> All hey, right, just hey, check it. Like I said, I worked with that shit for 40 years. All I did is I had two computers on my desk, two telephones. I worked for trucking companies. I did rates. I did all that crap. And at 71 years old, I'm just tired of it. I understand. Can't, I, can't I really believe. don't even like being on the phone as long as I've been talking to you. You can ask anybody that talks to me. I just. When I'm done, I'm done. I got you. Well, you've been pleasant and friendly, and I certainly appreciate you staying on the phone for me because I'm going to get you your two hundred thousand. Let me ask you one final question: uh, If yeah, I was, if I was to just send a mobile notary to your house with the paperwork, is that something she could just sit down with you? She or he sit down with you? It'll all be marked where you need to sign. They'll just stamp their thing, and uh, they'll they'll take fine. care of just, sending it out. That'll be fine. Just give me a warning when they're coming. Okay, what's it, could you do that tomorrow? What's a good time for you tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, not tomorrow. Uh, let me see, what day is Monday? Monday is... That's the third, I think. Third and the fourth. The fifth would be the best day. Okay, so on the fifth, we'll get a mobile yeah, note reactor. Yeah, back surgery, so we got to go back Oh, I know what that's like. Yeah, they come fast and furious as we get older. I got you. All right. Well, here's what's going to happen. So I'm going to have our, our transaction girl, uh, Andrea, actually line up a mobile notary. She will call you or I will call you and let you know that Wednesday's good and what time. Then we'll get this locked in. And what will happen next is we'll get together with a local title company. We'll get that title order opened. Uh, There's not a lot's going to happen in the middle. We'll probably send somebody by to get some photos, maybe even send in a couple contractors when you're in town to start putting together some bids for us. But towards the end, that's when you're going to get a package. We'll have another mobile notary come out and sign everything. They'll ask us to sign everything. And then what we'll do is once everything gets back and title, make sure that it's clear and good to go. Uh, we'll wire in our money and they'll transfer the deed and they can wire you out your money unless you want to check instead. Fair enough? Yeah. Oh, no problem. No problem. Yeah, everything's pretty much. Okay. Yeah, I had a couple of people over actually. Uh... One realty realtor that was gonna list it to two forty. He uh, come up there, went on the roof, done everything. And okay. I got a shed in the back too. I got a chain link yard in All the right. back. And I got two decks, one uh, step up where I used to have a above ground swimming pool that could just be put in there if somebody wanted to buy it and put it in there. All right, Mike, I appreciate your time. Like I say myself or Andrea will be reaching out to you to get line up that mobile notary. And we look forward to doing some business with you. Okay, brother. All right. Thank you, sir. Bye for now. Wow. 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 Well, listen, the comments were a lot nicer on this one. I got to give it to you guys, but I still want to hear 
your take on what you just got through witnessing. OK, so definitely put in your 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 opinions, your thoughts. I want to hear about what you guys were thinking about. So far, the comments have been actually nice. The judges are scoring right now as we speak. But here's the deal. I got something for you and I need everybody to pay attention to me on this right here. After you put in your opinion, after you put in your opinion, we're actually given an early bird special on the official closures Olympics. OK, now this is what it comes with. I love these kind of uh, early bird specials because it's like we get to give you more and then we charge you less. I like that. I love that. So here, here's what we got. We got 50 plus hours of Closers Olympics live footage. OK, so that's number one. That's number one that comes in this bundle. The next thing you get is a step by step sales course. You get a step by step sales course. And also you're going to get general admission to the official Closers Olympics. And the beautiful part about this is that it's not it's not like six ninety five like you know like you would think, which is I actually think is probably worth six ninety five. It, it's not going to be that. It's it's actually going to be two ninety seven. So listen, I need everybody to go to closestolympics.com right now. Pick up your early bird tickets right now. Don't wait. Don't wait because if you wait, you're going to have to pay the official price. So if you want to take advantage of that bundle right now, that early bird special, go ahead and lock in 297 right now. Go ahead and pick that up. And uh, we're going to see you at the live next closes Olympics, plus all of the extra goodies that we're getting. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Another thing, if you are wanting, if you're wanting to join the closes Olympics, you want to text the number at the bottom of your screen. You want to text the number at the bottom of your screen and apply. I know there's a lot of great closers. I know a bunch of dope closers myself personally. Um, and so, listen, you definitely want to text that number. It is 480-462-7133. That is 480-462-7133. Well, I'm tired of waiting. I listened to y'all's opinion. Looks like y'all got a lot of love, but... Cassie, what were your thoughts? What were your thoughts? Um, I loved, I loved his style. I really did, you guys. Um, it was really smooth. He, you could tell he was really confident. He's been doing this. He's he's settled, right? And he's set in his ways, right? Um, some of the, and I and I scored him, you know, accordingly, in my opinion. Um, you know, I gave him some some points where he threw down some creatives, but I felt like he could have dug in a little bit more. I also felt like some of his one-liners were dangerous, in my opinion. Um, personally, for me, you got to be careful calling somebody old. You got to be careful making fun of them for having, you know, technological, you know, things that they have to overcome. You know, it's kind of your job to solve that. So some of that stuff was like, taking away from the report to me, but overall, I think it was just a clinic on so many things, you know, identifying those pain points, getting to what the really, really the seller really needs. And like I said earlier, offering them multiple solutions, talking about net, like there were so many great takeaways from that. And I mean, I thought KP did a great job. Love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you so much, Cassie, man. Listen, she got, I mean, he got a pretty decent score. I, I mean, that was probably like one of the best of the best that I've seen uh, thus far. So shout out to him for that. Uh, who we have up next will be my guy, Liam. Liam, where you at, man? What are your thoughts on this, man? The one word that I would use to describe it is listening. He took his time, listened to what the seller was saying and responded appropriately. I agree that some of his one-liners are dangerous, but I think that the rapport that he was able to build through both a level of credibility and a high degree of relatability made it so that he could just, he could probably say whatever he wanted, and that guy wanted to work with him. At the end, I think the one key takeaway was that guy said brother to him. Like, that's, 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 that's what you want to be hearing from the people you're talking to at the end of the day. It felt like they really connected and just had a, had a really solid conversation. Um, only place that we really could have earned more points is if we'd gotten deeper in a creative conversation where somebody was interested in it. And of course, if you got the contract signed, other than that, I thought it was fantastic. Pacing was fantastic. Um, really not a lot. You can do much better than that. Wow. Well, that's the best score we've seen thus far, but Liam, can you go ahead and like break down the application process 
for the new people who want to join in and get some closing done? Oh, super simple. All you do is go to apply.closersolympics.com. You're going to go through the application process. We're going to read everything that you submit. We're going to listen to some of your calls. We're going to have a live audition date. That's going to be, I believe it's in, uh, it's coming up in May. So the deadline is the end of April for you to actually come in and apply. Then the people who get chosen through that audition, they come to our next round of qualifiers just like this year. So everybody that you're seeing on today went through that whole application process for the first three rounds. We're going to be filling the next three rounds coming up soon. So go to apply.closersolympics.com if you want to apply. Love it, love it, love it. Man, well, we got my guy Elijah up. Yes, sir. Thoughts? What are your thoughts, man? I mean, I lo I love I love you, people. I call it, I call these classic closers. These are the classic. These are people who've been closing before all the Instagram, before all the social media. He, you can tell, you know, KP been putting in work for years. I thought he did. I thought he did very well. Like I said, he only had a couple calls. He made the most with what he had. Um, I think he was really strong on the rapport side. I think. Um, the negotiation, I felt like he could did a little stronger on the negotiations. Um, I think he just built, he connected with the guy really well. I think that's a big part of this this game is just connecting with the guy, connecting with the seller. Um, however, a big challenge here is that he said 200000 A lot of times, if you just take the number the seller's offering you, they're going to feel like, oh, crap, I offered too low. He didn't even try to negotiate me. And it might be hard to get the contract signed. And it might have, uh, you know, that seller's remorse. So I would absolutely went to 190 and negotiate at 195, try to go a little lower than what he uh, what they he said. So he just, he locked him up. So I gave him two points for the verbal agreement because he did get the verbal. But I think he could have went a little lower, and I, I would have given more points for negotiations and a higher verbal agreement if he challenged the seller and got a little lower price. At the end of the day, he did a phenomenal job, but. I have to keep it a hundred percent. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, Liam, I mean, we got it. We got a promo. Um, we got it. We got to pay some bills. Um, so y'all need to pay attention. And it's, it's actually like a, a good, a good promo because like, I want to use, I speed the lead. That's what I want to do. Liam, how can I be like the brand ambassador for I speed the lead? That's what I want to know. Well, it's the super simple. Just go to the website, sign up. It's free. Get alerts whenever there's a new lead in your market. We're generating over 200 leads a day all across the U.S., all 50 states, every single market imaginable. We're getting leads. You can just hop on the site. I'll actually show you guys here. Just like this. See, you just hop on the site and you get these leads fed to you all day long. You're going to see all the details about every single lead before you buy it. And then you're going to call them up and get a deal locked up. It's that simple. I love it. I love it. Listen, all of the leads that you guys have been listening to have come from I Speed the Lead, right? So you definitely want to take advantage of that. Uh, some of the best of the best PPC leads on the planet. And uh, you don't want to miss that opportunity. So thank you, Liam, for sharing that. And uh Listen, we got Kindle up next, though, man. Come on, I got Kindle up next. Um, but I definitely want to hear from KP. I want to hear from KP, get some of his thoughts. Um, KP. All right. OG. Well, thank you. Thank you, Brian. I, uh, Byron, I appreciate that. Uh, and once again, grateful to be here. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I appreciate all the feedback from the judges. Uh, you know, and that was for me, that was kind of a day in the life. You know, I had to make 19 calls to get that guy. Right. And oh, how many of us out there are making 19 calls to get that guy. Right. So I, I tried not to get phased and just I, w I knew one of them was going to be a ringer. I didn't know it was the last one. Uh, but I do appreciate you, Elijah. I, was, I, I peeked over at the clock and saw three minutes left. I wanted to get his verbal approval on the 200 because I, I was going to hit him at 190 but i didn't want to spend five minutes when i only had three minutes left on yeah. the clock so the clock kind of came into play i wanted him locked in tight i even did the cool off you know letting him know how escrow is going to go how the process is going to go with a mobile notary and the paperwork wanted to make sure i got the cool off in there as well uh so super happy i didn't get zeroed uh but i'm happy to end on a high note and i can't tell mm -hmm. you guys how 
grateful I am to be a part of this and looking forward to, uh, to the outcome, no matter how it is, because I know this is a tough group right here. So they ain't nobody no sleeping doubt. in this group. Well, KP, the OG, you have the highest score thus far. So you definitely got to be thanking yourself for that. I am definitely excited to hear more from you. Uh, this was amazing, man. I, I You were smooth like butter, man. And, uh, you know, thank you for uh, the service and, and what you're providing to the marketplace for sure. But here's the deal. We have to get to my guy, Kendall, from the ATL Georgia. <laughs> ATL ATL Georgia, my guy got eight years of experience in real estate, 250 plus closed deals. And his strengths, you guys, is communication style, providing service, solutions, and a great experience. This is what we getting ready to bring to the table. Let's get it rocking. Georgia in the building, baby. What's happening, baby? Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it. Kendall, are you ready to take the hot seat? Man, am I ready? Let's get. Are it you going, ready right? to close the deal? Let's get it going. We about to go get two of them real quick. Let's get it rocking. Oh, I like the confidence. I like the rocking. All right, let's get to it. All right, cool. Let me get these leads pull up real quick, and uh, let's get let's get active. All right, cool. We rocking and rolling. Kendall's bringing that energy out the gates. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That is such a me thing hey, that I What's do. happening, man? You gonna pick up? You gonna pick up? What's happening? I sing to myself while I'm dialing. You might not. Please leave your message for... Jimmy, you got lost. Oh. Jimmy, what's going on, sir? This is Kendall. I'm actually uh, reaching out to you about that property on Betty Lane you submitted on our website. Give me a call back when you get a moment, 404-709-9147. I wanted to go ahead and get you an offer before I get out of the office. I'll be here for about another 30 minutes, okay? Give me a call back as soon as you can. Bye-bye. And listen, right, I've, Jimmy, let's keep it rolling. I've been hearing Kendall close. Right. I've been seeing this young man close from a, a, a young man closer to the the grown man king clothes you've seen right here oh no good job my boy he actually qualified he comes from the eta family um at 12 years old this guy had a uh he, he was innovative and he had a bar he was cleaning up at the barber shops and he, he cleaned up everything at the barber shops and started locking down closing other barber shops at 12 years old outsourcing it for people i mean he's a bona fide hustler i, I love seeing this man put on so I'm, I'm really excited to see what he does. See what my man do. Come on. I know he did his affirmations. I know he has heat pumping in the background somewhere. Let's see how he does. How he does. Come on, Terry. You fronting on me, Terry? Your call has been forwarded to Terry, an don't front on me, Terry. I'm going to double back on you real quick. Yep. <laughs> the clocks didn't start. The clock didn't start yet. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nicely. Yep. See, you got some beatbox for you guys. See, but that's what you're really doing when you're making the calls, keep your energy flowing. Well, I love that because I, the main, main thing I say to people oh, is be yourself, do your thing, ride your energy level, like keep it going, keep your, you know, like that's what you have to do to be able to do this, right? Keep and protect that energy. So, so do you out. and it's like you can tell him coming in he's gonna put on a, a good show here we'll right? double back in a second on the people who ain't pick up totally different energy style is gonna come out than what we just saw both are gonna be equally excellent you can tell right out the gate If you catch me dialing, you're probably gonna catch me talking to myself. I'll be standing up, walking around, doing. Oh yeah, reps. oh yeah. I, I'm, I'm always. Let's talking. go, baby. Let's go. Let's get it. I, 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 I use that with the instrumentals. The uh, you have called is not available. Okay, Google. Um, Keep it moving. Back here. Let's see. Uh, let's go. 
dancing, stretching. Uh, this one right here, she about to pick up for you. So. <laughs> See, I mean, just think, you can spend hours yeah. doing this. You must also make the fun, enjoyable, as pleasurable as possible. Uh oh. That's the out of the country dial. Hello. Hey, Tamberly, how you doing today? I'm fine. And yourself? I'm excellent. Excellent. Hey, this is Kendall. I'm actually um, touching bases with you about that property on Plummet's Lane. I saw you uh, submitted yeah. on our website about selling it. Yeah, we have. And actually, I just put you on speaker, Kendall. My husband is here, too. That's oh, you must be reading my mind. I was just about to ask you that. Did anybody else wanted to be involved in the conversation? I want to step on no toes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so, perfect. You guys come up with the number? Yeah, I'm actually sitting here looking at it now. I just need to kind of gather some more info from you and then we can kind of get to it. Give me one second. Okay. What I'm going to do is, um, do you have access to your email right now? Uh, I can, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and submit this property to my finance team now. I'm going to let them go ahead and get the numbers prepared while we are talking. And then I will have a range ready for you by then, all right? Sure. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So I went ahead and got that over. They're working on that now. So talk to me about the property. Um, I see here it's a three bed, two and a half bath, 2,600 square feet. Yeah, 2647. Okay. Um, it sits on 4.41 acres. Ooh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh huh. It has a barn uh, that's a three stall barn with a full loft and a tack room. Okay. It has electricity and water. Okay. You got some animals in that barn, too? No, not at this point in time. No? Uh, just, just the dog. Just the dog. <laughs> okay, okay. I was asking because um, I actually just recently started doing my own garden a couple weeks ago. So my wife asked me, she was like, um, babe, we should get some chickens. And I'm like, I don't want no chickens. I don't want nothing I got to take care of. I got four kids, right? I don't need nothing extra. <laughs> right? I actually my well, you know what's crazy? I looked it up on YouTube, and it turns out that having them is very easy care. It's really not much. It's really not a lot of um, manual labor, should I say, when it comes to taking care of them. So after I watched some YouTube videos, you know how YouTube University is, right? I got some. Okay. I got some confidence, and I said I might go ahead and get some. Um, get some chickens now. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah no, I, you know, and, and of course, with the price of eggs now, it's actually kind of handy. I'm telling you, I went to the store. I saw that eight ninety nine. I said, "No, ma'am, <laughs> we're not doing that." Okay, so anyway, back to the property. Yeah. We also have a two car garage. Okay. That has a workshop in one end of it. Gotcha. And also, it has a carport on the front of it. Mm -hmm. And depending on how you park your cars, you could either park two under it or you could park what three or four if you about four yeah about four yeah so it just depends on how you park your cars okay okay got you um and i'm sorry my husband's name is jim oh mr mr jim how you doing today yeah great awesome awesome man um so just to kind of give you guys a little insight i i got all that information you just gave me now um, real quick, okay. how soon are you guys looking to get this done? We, you know, I'd like to be out of here in 30 days if that if that's possible. Yeah, I mean, um, as long as we get a number that works. Go ahead. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. So, so here's the thing. We both have elderly mothers that are needing care. Okay. And they're in Indiana, and we're 1,800 miles away in Nevada. Whew. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. That'll do so it. So if... It is becoming an ongoing issue, and so the quick, you know, the faster we could do this, the better. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, I mean, it's the end of the month. I actually need to buy two more properties and, and before. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I need to buy two more properties before tomorrow. So, I'm trying to. Okay. I'm sifting through some people now, trying to find somebody that has something that'll work for me. I'm trying to hit my quota, you know. <laughs> sure. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, okay, so how much you guys looking to get for the house and for the land itself? Because it's, it's a pretty big property. What are you trying to get for it? It is. And, and I will tell you that I, I would really like 475 Okay. Ooh. Now, I, I say that because mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I had a realtor come in. Okay. I had a realtor come, and she did a market analysis, and she gave me a number of five ninety four five. Okay. Now, we do have a mortgage on the property, and mm-hmm. my mortgage company sends me an email every month uh, based on the information that they have since we bought the property. Yeah. And the mortgage company is telling me five eighty eight. So wait a minute. So the mortgage company is telling you you can get five eighty eight for it. That's what the mortgage company says. All right. So, so Miss Newton, I have to ask. Um, the agent and the mortgage company are both in the five hundreds. Why are you trying to get four seventy five instead of listing the property? Well, because you know, it, they're saying it needs new paint, it needs new carpet. And we're not trying to be unreasonable, and we neither one of us have ever thought about um, using property as a, a, a safe investment because, you know, it's subject to the market. Yeah, and no, I understand. I understand. And honestly, so, you probably want to get out to your mom, you know, sooner rather than later. Is, yeah. So it yeah. is, you know, they have become an ongoing issue for us. So our stress levels are high and and not to add to that you know we're trying to be reasonable yeah i understand um, so so yeah so at 475 we'd we'd really love to come in at that at 475 mm, yeah i don't know miss newton um let me see what i can do I mean, if you don't, if you if you don't get the four seventy five, are are you gonna just go list it? Like, what type? Of, what are you thinking about doing? Well, uh, I have I have a showing this weekend. We have two two different people coming this weekend mm-hmm. um, to to see the property. So uh, you know, they both have properties to sell before they could buy ours. We've been yep. told that up front. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, time is kind of of the essence for us. Uh, my husband's mother is in worse shape than my mom, but she needs she needs our attention. Uh, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, my grandfather just passed away, so I get that completely. Mm-hmm. It, it's kind of, it, yeah. get, it is scary on the so, tail end. Yeah. Right. So, so there's, you know, basically there's nothing wrong with this property other than it just, it, you know, it needs some fresh paint. It needs mm-hmm. new carpet in the downstairs. Okay. We've redone the floor upstairs and painted the upstairs. So, it, I mean, it, the house is technically move-in ready. There's And it's got, when we moved in here seven and a half years ago, I spent about $14,000 on KitchenAid appliances. Nice. So it's got KitchenAid stove, dishwasher, refrigerator. Okay. And how old uh, is the roof and the HVAC on the house? What's the What's the age of those? You know, I cannot tell you that because it's what was here when we bought the house. Gotcha. I'd have to look at the tag. Yeah, he'd have to. My husband would have to look at the tag. So I, I honestly can't tell you about that. Okay. And, it is a heat pump. Yeah, and it is a heat pump. And, and the only other issue is that this past winter, we had a window upstairs in one of the bedrooms that it cracked on the inside glass. It's not on the outside. But mm. there is a crack on the double pane on the inside. Got it. Okay. So, yeah. So I just well, want to disclose that right up front. Yeah. No, that's that, that that's great. Yeah. Yeah, we had some really cold days. Mm. We were in the negatives for about two straight months. So, I don't miss yeah, that at all. <laughs> I, yeah. The other thing I will tell you about this property is when you look out the back door and the, the west windows of this house, mm-hmm. we have a million dollar view. We I got you. Okay. The, we sit at the base of the mountains, and the land that is beso- on both sides of us and behind us mm-hmm. is all government land. So they they, they haven't came to try to uh, to try to buy your property yet. The government. No. No. no, no okay. No. All right. Well, but, um, but, I, so it, it does have a view. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. You know, and, yeah, and you got some land too. Um. Go ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. We are open to offers, okay? so, well, the good thing is I got a couple options for you. That's the good thing. Okay. All right. So okay. let me, um, go ahead. Go ahead. So, do you need to know anything else? First of all, well, the downstairs is all open concept. Uh-huh. Um, it has the, 
um, I don't know what to call it, the stairway is tree trunks. Okay. Yeah, look like live live trees. It's actual, yeah. actual trees. Um, well, I mean, the master bedroom. you know, for me, I'm going to be using this more for investment purposes. I'm not going to live there. Sure. Um, I'm going to do sure. more, more so renting it out. So uh, aesthetically, right. Um, and feature wise is not really, you know, for me, I'm okay. more concerned with systems and renovations that you've already done, things like that, which you have already explained. Okay. So that's good. We put, we put a new kitchen floor in. And okay. Laminate. Gotcha. Um, and the upstairs, we took all the carpet out up there and we put in a, um, and you have to realize this house looks like a, a cabin. Mm -hmm. So we put in a wood floor. Uh, it's a custom wood floor that we did ourselves. So it's, okay. it's natural wood that we sanded, honed, and yep. put in, stained, and sealed. Okay, got some sweat equity in it. Okay. Oh, I just, Wait, oh, wait okay. Minute. Wait a minute. Lots, lots oh. of Hold on. I got some good yeah. news. I think our numbers just came back. Hold on. I'm just, okay. I'm just adding everything you just told me now. And they're going to give me a final number for you uh, coming up here in the next probably one minute or two. But um, sure. I wanted to kind of go over a couple of options I do have for you guys. So I know you I know you all are looking to, you know, get to your moms as soon as possible and kind of make that happen. Right. Do you have a mortgage on the right. property? Yes, we do. OK. Are you guys open to doing more so terms? And the reason I'm I'm asking is because I did a little light research on the property myself while, while we're waiting on the number. And to be honest, you know, I, I mean, if I had it my way, you know, I would be more at like 340 to 350. But I'm not saying that the, I'm not saying that's, that's what I'm paying because I'm still waiting right. for the number. But that's mm -hmm. just kind of based off what I'm seeing. But I'm going to assume that 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 wouldn't work for you. Right. No. Yeah. Exactly. No. Okay. So no. with that being said, um, I do have another option where I can come in and I can pay you the price that you're looking for, but it's going to have to be over a period of time and I can give you a down payment. So um, yeah, no. that's not something you're looking no, at. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. No, no problem. We're looking at an outright, yeah, have okay. An outright purchase. Yep. Yeah. I just got the number back. Okay. Here we go. All right. So they gave me a range of 375 to 395 for a cash price. That's no right. commissions. We'll pay all the closing costs. We'll close it in 21 to 30 days. Uh, we'll buy it as is. You don't have to do anything to the property. And um, yeah, very quick process. So you said, uh, tell me that number again. It, they gave me a range of 375 to 395. And it's going to be at my discretion of where we fall at in that range. Right. But honestly, I'm looking to be more at 385. Because what I don't want to do is I don't want to give you a price and then I don't close it, right? Yeah. I don't I don't want to get you on the yeah. contract for a higher price than come back and try to renegotiate. So, yeah. you know, 385, yeah. signed, sealed, and delivered. We can close in 30 days and get you on about your business and get you to your mom. And, um, you know, we can get it done. Very easy. Yeah. Um, you know, probably we're just not quite ready to, to go that low yet. Okay, no problem. Um, I kind of like to get through the weekend and, and, you know, see what these these buyers have to say. OK, well, um, let's let, let's do this. This offer is good until Monday. So give me a call back if, if it depends on how everything goes this weekend and then okay. we can move on from there. OK, Kendall. Yep. Um, and, and who is it that you work for, Kendall? Or uh, yes, our company is Master Key Investments. We are a subset of Cash Offerly. OK, Master yep. Key. OK, yep. gotcha. All righty, Miss Newton. And I am going to tell you. I am going to tell you this. We we were working with another company about a month ago. Had a pretty bad experience with them. Uh -huh. They kind of strung us along. I know, uh, and and that and honestly, so, Miss Newton, that's why I'm telling you 385 because I don't want to string you along. I can get it done at that number uh, today. Uh -huh. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. That's that we have, well, I'd like to show it this weekend, and, okay. and then I can call you back and let you know where the other. No problem at all. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I got another call coming in right now. Can I give you a call back in a moment? I'm sorry. Sure. That's all right. Fine. Thank you, Jimmy, my man. How's it going, sir? Oh, I'm all right. Just preaching you. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, man. Um, did you get my message? I left you. 
Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, man. So I was reaching out about that Betty Lane property. Um, so I see here that you're looking to get it sold. Um, talk to me, man. What's what's going on? How can I help? Right now, right now I'm trying to get this launch to, to do some cosmetic work on it because I had my foundation fixed. Uh -huh. And you know how they pick up the flooring and all that stuff, and I had not put it back yet. Yeah. So that's okay. what I'm trying to do right now. You know, so you had right. so you had the foundation fixed. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to keep up with you, sir. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So you had the foundation yeah. fixed already, yeah. and I've got a warranty on it and everything. Warranty on it. How long is the warranty for? A lifetime. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. Um, and you said you're trying to do some cosmetic work on it right now. Yeah, you know the leftovers from from them leveling the foundation and stuff is that they, they take the flooring off and the tile, the carpet, whatever is there. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, yeah, so painting, a little painting on the walls and you know. What, what the foundation does when, when it's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah. I got it. It's, 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 it's definitely a headache, especially in Texas Everybody when you're done with the foundation. I'm fixing to do this probably in another week or two, and if they don't pass, well, that's probably why I'm going to probably sell it as it is. Well, why don't you just sell it as it is, as it is right now? It's the end of the month for me, man. I got to get two properties purchased before tomorrow night. <laughs> so if, if you want to sell it as is, I'm your guy. Yeah, I, I, I got, you know, I got like, including you, maybe about six or seven people have been calling me. Oh, for sure. It's 2023. Everybody buying real estate, right? <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I just, I, I just I haven't made up my mind yet to sell it as it is, or I don't know where if I get more about it. So I got to ask, is it about getting more or is it about getting out? Like, what's important to you when it comes to this actual, like... Yeah, I, when it comes to getting right. the property done, right? Because you got to think of your time cost versus what you're actually going to put in your pocket, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's the main thing. Yeah. Then I got to move and find me another place. So you live in there right now? Yeah, that's where I live. At. All right, got it. it so it's too big for me. It's three bedrooms. I got you. Yeah. So look, Jimmy, I'm trying to buy something today, man. Um, and, and, are, are you my guy, or, or you're not really quite ready yet? Let me hear your offer then. I mean, okay. Well, I'm going through everything right now. I, re I already sent the property to my finance team. They're going to send me a range momentarily. Um, but in the meantime, how much are you looking to get for it? As is. If you don't, yeah, if you don't have to do nothing else to it, you can put money in your pocket. We can get it done today. How much you want to get for it? Well, to tell you the truth, man, what I need to get all these debts and everything off, I need any, anywhere around 160, man. Need around 160k. Yeah, around there. All right. Now I haven't got the numbers back yet, but I gotta ask if yeah, I if if I, if I just so yeah, I understand. No, I, I got you. I got you. But I I gotta ask, man, because you know I gotta be out the office in the next 15 minutes, so I wanted to kind of yeah. see if I can get you on board before I leave. If I can yeah. get you that 160 today, are you telling me you're ready to get the process started right now? Yeah, if it's, if it's 160 and it's, it's in my pocket, that 160, no closing costs, I got to pay. And then, you know, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. We're definitely going to be paying all the closing costs. Whatever we agree on is going to be a net price to you. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, yeah. real quick, I know you say you're living in the property. If we come to an agreement today and you're ready to sign today, how are you, where are you going to move to? I'm, I'm moving down the road to my hometown. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's where you're from originally. Yeah, Richmond, Rosenberg. I got you. I got you, man. So, how has the rehab been going on the property, the main, man? The um, uh -huh. I won't be able to move to the May, middle part of May, anyway. You won't be able to move to your hometown until the mid part of May. Yeah. That's not a problem. Gonna, yeah, that's not a problem. I'm gonna retire. I'm gonna retire from my job and move. Yeah, it's not a problem. We can either close before and offer you and offer you some type of post closing possession where you get your money and then you get, you know, a few extra weeks or whatever to move out. Or we could just close once you move out of the property. Either way, it's cool. Not a problem yeah. at all. OK, yeah, man. Me, I mean, it's not no problem. Well, no, I'm gonna let you know right now. Like I said, man, I got uh, to between me and you, Jimmy, I'm trying to hit my quota this this month you <laughs> know so i want to see if i if i can get you something right now now i'm looking at it right here 
Um, what else is left that needs to be done on the house? That's that's the main thing. Okay. That, that it needs done as, as, as far as major because every room needs something to be done. It's a no house, and I just haven't had money to to update. You okay. Know, just, you know, like the appliances. I mean, you need appliances. That I haven't bought none. They're old. I got you. you know, Okay, so um, I the toilets too. I would If I get this money, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Let's see what I can do for you here. And how old is the roof and the HVAC on the property? I don't even know. I know they did it some years back. Some years back. That was my mom's house. Okay, you got it from your mom. Okay. Well. It seems to me, if we don't know the age of the roof and the HVAC, I might need to consider that in my renovation. Um, so I'm going to call this a... They've been calling me about the shoulder. If I was that's what I was going to do. Okay. And the garage is still original, right? You haven't um, you haven't converted the garage, have you? No. No, it's two, two garages. Okay. Got you. Well, um... I got some good news and I got some okay news, maybe better news depending on how you look at it. Uh, are you? Do you have your email next to you right now? Yeah. All right. So the good news is that I got you approved, right? But I only got the approval for one fifty two eight fifty. All right. Now. One hundred fifty-two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. That's the approval I got. Okay. Now that's not your one sixty, but tell me how you feel about that. Let me let me think about it. I'll get back with you tomorrow. It, I mean, it's a, it's around there. Let me let me let me check some of my figures out. Well, well, let, let's hold on. Um, I'm here to get it done, man. So I'm trying to figure out how I can help you, right? So are you telling me that you feel like you want to think about it? But 160, you don't want to think about it. We can move forward because if so, I'll go and I'll fight on your behalf to get you that 160. Just talk to me and let me know if you're ready right yeah. now. I'll, I'll get it approved. I really need that. I really need that 160. <laughs> All right, this is what I'm gonna do. They probably gonna kick my. All right, give me your email address real quick. Jimmy Hold on one second. It's Jimmy. Spell that for me. Mm -hmm. All I'm hearing right now is money. He's speaking to me. Contracts on the way. He's, he's you said in. three one two seven. Three one. I think this call is going his way. Go ahead and pull your email up for me real quick. I'm going to go ahead and send this over to you. I just told my finance guy I'm just going to do the 160 and I'm going to take the hit on my commission. Okay. And now, before I do this, are you sure you don't want to fix it up? Because once I send it to you, the funds are committed, right? So are you sure you don't want to fix it up first? Like if I give you this 160, you don't want to rent it out. You want to sell and we can close in the middle of May or on the date that you actually choose. You're good to go, right? All right, sounds good. So let me just give you a little bit more. Hold on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking to close the door here, man. I, I need to. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get home and check it a little bit closer, a little bit better. But I'm thinking, thinking to close the doors right They about to close the doors where? Yeah, at work. Oh, you at work right now? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, hold on one second, man. Um, I want to. Get this over to you because like i said i'm about to leave myself and here's the thing i only got funds i only have two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. i want to get two houses with it so i want to get yours so just give me 35 40 seconds and i'll have this agreement over to you and you can actually sign it right there from your phone but we're going to review it together first okay sound good yeah but like i'm sure i, I <laughs> 
I'm gonna be on the road here in a little bit. Okay, you're gonna be on the road. You're gonna be on the road. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Okay. Well, I gotta go turn the lights off. That's that's my job. I gotta turn the lights off and shut the doors. And that's, that's what I gotta do right now. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, shoot, man, we can sit in the parking lot and get it done. <laughs> no pressure, though. No pressure. Um, no pressure, man. I'm just trying to hit my quota. That's all. Yeah. Hey, just, just let me just send it. Let me see it, and then we'll talk in the morning. We'll all right. So I'm, I'm going to send it, and I'm going to put the funds on hold for you as long as I got your commitment and I got your word that you're good to go. Right. I'll, I'll put the funds on hold. Is that okay for you? Yeah, that sounds good. And let me check it, and we'll talk about it in the morning. If I get home, I get here about nine o'clock. Okay. Is there anybody else that needs to be involved in this? You got the wife or anybody you need to talk to her first? No, no, that's it. All right, you the big boss. Got you. All right, Jimmy. Well, look, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm literally putting the funds on hold for you right now. Can you, you have something you can write with, or maybe make a note on your phone, real quick? No. All right, I'm going to text you over. This is your virtual funding number, okay? Uh -huh. This virtual funding number, you're going to give me this that's number. A, that's that's, a, that's a, the, the amount that you're going you're gonna to give, right? Exactly, but this virtual funding number, I'm going to text to you, right? And this number, I want you to give it to me. I, I'm going to have the note here as well, but this is basically going to tell my finance team that you committed to 160 today, and they can't change the number on you, okay? Okay. All right, so that number is 134-727-AF, but I'm going to text that to you as well. Okay, yeah, I was going to say I don't have a pen. Oh, yeah, no, I got you. I'm going to text it to you. I just wanted to let you know that's what it was, okay? All right, Jimmy. That's what number? No, no, that, that's, that's your virtual funding number. So this is basically the number that says we've committed, yeah, we've committed 160 k to this particular property now that I have your word that you want to move forward that way. Um, this okay. is the number that's gonna that, that solidifies those finances for you. So just give me that number when we talk in the morning. I'm gonna text it to you in a moment, and then okay. you have your funds on lock, and we'll get this thing signed, sealed, and delivered tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Okay. 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 All right, Jimmy. Have a great one, sir. All right, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and send it over to you so we can get a review tonight. And if you want to, we could talk tonight when I get home, man. I don't mind doing some extra work if you got any questions, okay? Yeah. All right, perfect. I'll, I'll, I'll get a hold of you. All right, have a great one, sir. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's All right. go. I need to work in the that middle of the joint. Right Could you get that commitment on the contract? But let's get to the next one. What's my time like? I ain't seen the clock yet. Can somebody show me my clock? Oh, he's in 36 minutes. seconds. We're going to get us one more. I mean, it's running as oh, going. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm got running. Got it. Right got now. it. Uh, my, fears, my, 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 my only fear is that guy said he committed that he was right next nah, to his email. But then once we're starting to talk about getting the contract over, then he's like, oh, I'm leaving work right now. Things are going on. I think there was an underlying issue that wasn't covered. Donzel, let's get it. I'll make baby. You can close this in the in the parking lot. I like that one. I did like that one. Yeah, I like the urgency and I like the triple commitment. Hey, Mr. Winston. Yes. My man, this is Kendall, man. I'm, I'm actually reaching out to you because you uh, put your info in on that Cash Offerly website about that McLaren Street property. Right, right. Right, my man. I'm actually calling to buy the property. Well, uh, I, had, I actually had, I had a few calls and I had someone actually come from the Ugly Homes. People come take a look at it. The We Buy Ugly Houses? Yeah, yeah. One of they, uh, uh, I guess estimators. Yeah. And he, he came on Saturday, but I haven't heard nothing back from nobody. Cause we've not been no contract or nothing yet. Well, look, man, it's March 30th. I literally got 48 hours to hit my quota for the end of the month. I got 250K to spend. I'm trying to buy three, four houses with that. Um, I'm looking at yours. I can get you a contract right now, and we can go ahead and get this deal done. I saw that. I see she just bought it. Yeah, we bought it. I think August when you know, she got the finally got the uh, the quick title turned over in her name. The thing is, okay. is uh, she after looking at contract, it's like. I oh, Donzel, where you go, sir? You went out a little bit. Uh, yeah, you switched to my truck. Okay. Uh, 
you know, but anyway, my my wife will be the one you actually need to speak to, because if you trying to do, if you got trying to get a quota, mm-hmm. you know, it got to be something that, you know, I don't know what kind of contract you got, because a few of the contracts never say nothing about earnings money. Nah, 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 man. We 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 handle earnest money. We pay all closing costs. It's written out, spelled out in the contract. Give me your wife's information real quick, cause she sound like who I need to be talking to. What's her info? Well, her number. You can call her right now. Her number. I'll call her right now. Wow, 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 wow. That right there. I guess y'all was sending some positive vibes in ATL. I I don't know what was going on, but. I saw a lot of love in the chat from ATL. A lot of love. But here's the deal. The judges are scoring right now, so we're definitely looking forward to that. I want to know real, real quick. I want to know real, real quick. If you have already went to the closestolympics.com and started filling out, uh, you, you know, the, 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 all of the stuff that you need to go ahead and pick up that bundle. If you've already done that, if you've already done that, put a number one in the chat. I just want to know uh, my action takers that are in the building right now, right? I want to know where my action takers are. If you've already, if you've already started looking at that 297 bundle for the closest Olympics, put a number one in the chat. Yes, indeed. Shout out to my guy, Brandon Richie, right? For being an action taker. Love that. Love that. Listen, you do not want to miss your opportunity to be able to get over 50 plus hours. Listen to me. Over 50 plus hours of closest Olympics footage live, right? Plus, you got a step-by-step sales course, right? And you have a general admissions ticket. Listen, for $297, you could pay for the ticket by itself at that price. But you're getting all of the extras as well. So shout out to all my action takers. For sure on that, I really, really appreciate you for taking that step. But listen, my judges are scoring right now. I am excited about that last, the last couple of calls, actually. Those last couple of calls were actually phenomenal. I am looking forward to see what the judges are going to come back with. Cassie, listen, what do you think about that? Look, man, I, I felt Kendall's energy coming out of the gates. He is what I would describe as my favorite. Like he speaks my language, right? Like he closes like I close. He closes how we teach our team to close. There's almost nothing I find in there to give feedback, you know, in a constructive criticism type of way. Um, I mean, I'll just be real. Like the only thing, the only thing I can kind of constructively criticize is I don't, I actually don't like, when you have an MAO that is a certain price, don't go low just to go low. If the man needs 160, give him 160. You know, your ARV is 178. Like, why? Especially in Texas. In Texas, come on. Like, you can tell him. I liked what he did on the first call. Thank you, my love. My voice is coming out. <laughs> um, especially when you are you know, giving him that range on that first call. He did so good with that first seller. I'm in this range, but our number's so close. That's what I would have suggested on on that second guy. But honestly, his he he put on a show. There every there were just so many positive things. The way he navigated every conversation. The I mean, I I just have positive things. Positive, positive. (laughs) yeah. I I could talk about it for a while. I I loved that. And the score that. reflects the positivity because that is definitely the highest score that we've seen in this competition from you. Yeah. Shout out. Shout I out. I mean, he did great. He did I love great. it. I love it. Liam, where's my guy Liam at on this? What's going man? on, baby? I'm back. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling pretty good. That was enjoyable. I really liked watching that. I think that you're going to look at Cassie and my scores. We agree on a lot of the same things. The only thing, the only two things I would have liked to see done a little bit better is play around with that creative finance option a little bit more. There wasn't a whole lot to feed on. 
although he, he did get it out there, so I had to give him some points because he did get out there. The pitch was solid, but there wasn't a whole lot of, of, of meat on the bone there. And the second thing is on the negotiations, I had him at four points, and then he brought it up to 160 out of nowhere. Now, it's a nice thing to do, but I think that the gesture itself wasn't particularly impactful to the seller. The seller barely even recognized it. If you're doing something like that, make a big show of it. I think that's that's you're going to get a bigger impact from it. Um, or just don't do it at all. If he agrees to the 152, go for the 152. So that, that's, that's, then I, that, that made me take a point away. But otherwise, we're pretty much in line with the scores there. Love it. Love it. Well, these are some big scores, Elijah. Yeah, no, I thought I thought he was going to do well. Um, I did not think he was going to go do that well. Um, it, it was pretty strong. I saw, I think on the first call, I think he could have went more on creative. I feel for sure he could have dug into the pain. What happens if you don't sell webs? You do that open house. It doesn't work out. Would you guys just, just live there for a little bit, a couple more years? What's your plan? Um, but I like he didn't get stuck. He moved off the call. He posted a pivot off that, like the young Keen to dream over there. And he got into that next call. He found a seller. It felt like this is his avatar. All, all, all his closers. We know if we catch our avatar, we know what we're doing. And we know how it feels. So I think he did a phenomenal job at getting him locked in. I like the multiple points he did as far as building the rapport. I think he did really solid with um, connecting with them. I liked some of the negotiations he, he went like I, I really, I, I believe you never give the seller the exact number. It's okay to eventually give a number. But I like the fact he went to 152. I would have tried to came back at 157, see if I got him on board, and then get back to the 160. So I didn't max out on the um, on handling the objection. I feel like he could have did a little better, and the pain. I feel like he could have dug a little bit more into the pain with him, but I feel the verbal agreement was strong. He's like, we can sign this in the parking lot if we need to. My wow. man's talking about this, shut off the lights on me. And he still, he kept it, he kept it calm, he kept it cool, kept it funny, and he closed like a champ. I like I like what he, he Elijah, man. Listen, I just want to say thank you, Elijah, uh, for all of that good feedback. It was definitely on point, but we got to get Kendall in here. We got to get Kendall in here um, because so far, Kendall, it looks like you leading the pack, man. How you feeling about this? Man? Oh, baby, I feel great, baby. I feel He's great. Building. <laughs> man, what? I'm trying to go again. <laughs> oh, I love it. What's your thoughts, man? Yeah. What's your thoughts on this, man? Yeah, man um, I think it was good. You know, that guy, Jimmy, who I talked to, I thought I was going to have him in the bag, honestly. But I did. Met, I had a little misstep. Normally, in the beginning of the call, I try to find out, like, hey, you got your email going on. If we got, like, if we come to a price today, are you ready to go? Are you available now? I didn't kind of set the stage on the front end with that part with him because he hit me with the, yo, I'm leaving work locking up. I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> I can't even do that with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got you with that one. You got yeah, you. Know, but, I mean, other than that, um, I think I did good there. I definitely, I heard the pain on the first call that Elijah was talking about. But honestly, I felt as though that wasn't going to be a deal. So I didn't want to dive too deep in it. All I wanted to do was just kind of connect like, my grandfather just passed early this year, which is facts. I ain't make them no lies. The thing about the garden and the chickens, like these are all facts and things I'm doing. So I kind of related to do the rapport. I didn't want to bang too much on the pain though, because I knew they wasn't ready to go. They 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 got options and stuff going on, right? So kind of kept that moving. Um, on that last call that I was on when the time ran out, the wife is actually ready to sell. He just gave me her number and said, call her if she don't pick up, call me back. She ready to go. So you know, we'll go grab that in a second as well after we listen to Jeff. But, man, I appreciate y'all, man. This shit was lit. Appreciate, man, appreciate you, man. You put on a hell of a show, man. ATL is definitely representing. We in the A, baby. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, indeed, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Kendall, man. That was All an right. exciting show, and I'm loving this. But listen, I have to get my guy Michael Wash up here. Then to share with you guys. And I think it's I think it's going to be pretty important. I think this is going to be pretty important. Where is my guy, Michael, at? Michael Walsh. OK. All right. Well, cool. Michael Walsh said, you know what? He's not coming. He's going to do a video instead. And guess what? I'm OK with that. I'm OK with that. We can do the video. So let's go ahead and play this video real quick. And uh, get this thing started so we can get back into the show because we got Jeff up next. If you are ready to see my guy Jeff, 
Go ahead and put a number one in the chat and let's go ahead and get this video started so we can get to Jeff. Let's go. I just want to let people know that I, I respect you that much that we've turned down some of the biggest requests uh, to speak and I'm still showing up for Michael Walsh. Michael Walsh is the man. He built my funnel. For my good friend, Mike Walsh. Michael Walsh and the whole team absolutely crushing for us. To Angela and Michael Walsh for helping us grow our business. With his team has really elevated our entire organization. And he's know what he's doing. You tell him what you want, he's gonna do it. He's a pro. In the event space, uh, funneling traffic space, marketing space. Just super appreciative and grateful for the Uprank team with Michael and Angela and uh, all that they do and they've done for us and me in the past. Bro, I admire you, I respect you. I know you care about community. You guys are building your own. It is so freaking fun to watch and I, it's why we said yes to this, bro. Not only because like, you're freaking cool, but because <laughs> Love it, love it, love it. Listen, man. Um, shout out to Mike Wash. You know, um, let me let you in on a on a secret, okay? Let me let you in on an industry secret. So when it comes to marketing, you guys, when it comes to marketing, Mike Wash is number number one, second to none. Okay, so you definitely want to uh, make sure that you tap in with him. He's definitely sponsoring the Closers Olympics. Right. So special thanks to Mike Walsh and his team at uprankpro.com. I said uprankpro.com. You want to go ahead and hit the link at the bottom of my screen. It's flashing right now. Go ahead, hit the link and tap in with Mike Walsh on that. OK, um, so I'm ready. I'm ready to get back to the show. I'm 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 super excited. I'm, I'm ready to hear from Jeff. Because Jeff is coming out of Dallas, Texas. We got Texas in the building. We got ATL in the building. It's, it's a lot of things going on. Um, we got California in the building. But listen, Jeff has closed over 105 deals. His strength is his ability to adapt and maneuver through these conversations like butter. So I don't know if he's going to be as smooth as KP, the OG, but we going to see. I let Ron and I like that. Jeff, where you at? Hey, 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 let's get it. Oh, let's hey. go. I'm loving it already. Let's get this it. Building. It's game time, baby. Let's go. I'm loving it. Track right now. Let's go. How you feeling? You ready to get this thing started? Hey, listen, it's game time. Let's go. He said, Jeff buys houses 1906. Gang, gang. Love it. Let's get to it. Jeff, it's on you. Thank you, man. People have been giving Jeff a lot of love in the comments. Hello. When we went hey, live, Andrew, I think I... How you doing? All right, how you doing? I'm doing well, man. Thank you so much for asking. You know, a lot of people don't ask you that, and I really appreciate you for asking me that. <laughs> hey, uh, I was reaching out to you. It looks like you actually submitted your property on our website, uh, Marbury Street. And yeah. I just was reaching out to you to see if I'd be able to add some value to you and uh, maybe, you know, work with you on this deal. Okay. Okay. And you know, Andre, in the event we can agree to a price that makes sense for the both of us, you are definitely ready to sell today, right? Uh, about a month. About a month? Yeah. Yeah. And when I say sell today, I don't necessarily mean, you know, pack up everything, move out or whatever. I'm saying All to right. get it. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm saying to get an that. agreement signed. Are you, are you in a, yes, sir. Are you in a position to be able to do that today? Do what? To sign an agreement today to get the process started? No. No? My father is has the first stages of dementia. Okay. And he, and his wife is going to, what's that, speed, deed, mm -hmm. fast deed, the property to my, us and my siblings. Okay. They're in the process of doing that right now. Okay. I have, I have a for sale sign on the property. Sure. But we don't have this the property 100 percent yet. I understood, and you know I appreciate yeah I appreciate you for sharing that and and, and blessings and my thoughts are with your family on that. 
Yeah. Uh, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to follow up with you in a couple weeks after you get the opportunity, you know, to see how things are going. And maybe we can okay. touch base then to see what we'll be able to get done, okay? Okay, no problem. Hey, Andre, do me a favor. What's up? Have a great evening, man. Okay, you do the same. All right now. Bye-bye. Take care. I respect that play right there. He, he was able to roll off. He didn't. He didn't stay. He didn't stay stuck. He's like, you know what? I like just how you went right to it. Very, very subtle. Very RJ ish too, right? Yes. You got right to. Are you ready to selling today? Else we have nothing more to talk about. That was and actually I, a little I more mean, Cassie because he did it with a lot of kindness and appreciation thrown in. Correct. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yeah, some Cassie love on it. Yeah, some Cassie love on it, right? I'm like a you combo. Right you know? She sent me the voicemail. Very RJ. Yes. Don't do that, Pam. What I like to see with Please that is your the, the open was call one more time. Pam keeps sending but, me the voicemail. Text that girl. It's a risk. It's a risk to to hang up on a call like Please that when you could still get right, some points out of moving. it. Right. But I like exactly. what he did. It's definitely risk because he is in probate. The guy was in. It sounded like it's like a little bit of probate, so that he might have been a personal rep, and um, you know, it could have uh, got some points up. You know, it's not like he had a sign in the yard, so he's looks like he's doing something. I need a contract right now. Whoa. Jose, answer this phone and send me a house. I need this contract right now. But it shows he's going for the close. Hey, Jose, how you doing? Yeah, hello, who is it? Hey, this is Jeff, man. Sounds like I caught you at a bad time. Who is it? This is Jeff giving you a call. I believe you su submitted your information about your property out there uh, in Baltimore uh, on our website, and I just wanted to reach out to see if we can be some assistance to you. Yeah, man. I, uh, I don't know if you can read my text message. No, I, I ain't got I ain't got a text message from you, Jose. So who? So who's? So who's texting me then? Somebody's texting me. Well, it's not me. So here's what I'll tell you: don't don't text them back, <laughs> whoever that is, because they're not associated with me. But here's my question. This property that you have here, um, is that a property that you're seriously considering selling? Yeah, I mean, that's that's the plan eventually um, selling it. I'm trying to get a bigger house, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely looking to sell it. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, in the event, we can agree to a price that makes sense for the both of us, Jose. You are definitely ready to sell today, correct? No, I, I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't say that today. I never said I was... I live in a house scale. <laughs> yeah. And, and Jose, let me clarify. Please forgive me. When I say you're ready to sell today, I mean at least get the process started so that we can get an agreement on the property and get escrow opened up. And we may even be able to assist you with being able to find you another place to go or maybe even connecting you with the realtor. No, I mean, I mean, like like I was telling whoever else I was talking to, mm -hmm. like, you guys don't even know what my property look like. So how... how I'm I'm understanding how this works. Yeah, that's a great question. So we're very good at what we do, Jose. We purchase about five to seven properties a month across a few different markets. And we've gotten very skilled with the ability to be able to ask you specific questions, to understand how your property, what condition it is in, to be able to make you an informed offer. So we're, we're very good at that. But I don't want to make you an offer on the property, Jose, if you're not ready to make a decision today. And that's kind of what I'm hearing. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so OK. Well, hey, Jose, I do appreciate you for your time, man. I hope you have a wonderful evening. All right. All right. Bye bye. Moving on. No urgency. No conversation. No urgency. Jeez. No conversation. Let's go. It's a beast with it. He's like, listen, she's not trying to dance. I'm moving on to the next girl at the club. He is not buying nobody drinks. <laughs> right, let's go. I love it. I love it. Let's go. He's not. He's not here to play. He wants a contract. We're not. He ain't here for points. You gotta cut it. Your call has been forwarded. Answer this phone, Dan. There you go. Answer Tell this him. phone, Dan. Tell him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two, 
six zero four three seven five six five five is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or <laughs> press one for more options. Hey, Dan, this is Jeff giving you a call about. Nice. Cliffhanger. Love it. He's, putting, he's, he's showing it. Man, I might get my guy a point just for, for the techniques. Might just get my boy just for the techniques. Hey. <laughs> I thought he muted it at first, and then I was like, oh, he cliffhangered him. <laughs> right. right. I love it. Love it. Moving on, moving on. Answer this phone, Elias. Answer this phone. Yeah, well, let's see. Plenty of time. He's taking his time. Our call has been forwarded. Post and pivot. Post and pivot. Hello. Hey, Elias. How you doing, man? Good. Hey, this is Jeff. I was actually giving you a phone call about your property out there off of Grand Ave. Looks like you submitted some information on our website, and I just wanted to see if I can add some value to you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know, in the event, Elias, that we can agree to a price that made sense for the both of us, is that a property yeah. that you're ready to get the process started on and, and sell today? Uh, no, not today because they have a tenant over there. You have a tenant over there? Well, hey, Elias, we actually purchased numerous properties with tenants in them. Um, you know, I just I would just have to know the numbers for that, and I can provide that to the folks who will be running the, the numbers. So if we can inherit the property in the tenant, uh, would that be yeah. something that you'll be willing to move forward with? Yeah, yeah, if a good price and something good to go, yeah, I would do it. Awesome, okay. Because, well, because I'm planning to sell it in June, you know, it is expiring in June. Okay. And uh, if, you know, if, um, if I can sell it in June, I cannot clean it up, fix it up really good, and uh, put it for sale you know, in the market. But uh, if you guys buy it, I'm happy to sell it. Okay. Well, I'm glad to know that, Elias. And uh, I mean, what, what's going on in June as to why you said, is it just that when the lease is up, is that the thing that is kind of making you want to sell in June? Yeah, I wanna. I already told him if uh, that they uh, do, and I wanna put it for sale. If they wanna buy it from me. If not, they have to leave. So they say they cannot buy it. They cannot afford it. So they wanna leave it too. Okay. Yeah. And, and Elias, let me ask you this, man: Is selling in June? Uh, let's say that your tenant says that they don't wanna buy it and they vacate. Um, is selling it a big deal or a little deal for you? What is that again? Can you repeat? I, I said it. it is selling in June, is that a big deal for you or is that a little deal? Like, does it not matter if no, you sell? No, no, it doesn't bother me, sell it or not. Just sure. I want to sell it, you know. I don't have time to uh, renting, man. I don't have time for this. I have a lot of things to do. I have a lot of businesses to run. You know? Yeah. Like one, something that in the side I do, small thing. Absolutely. You know, because, yeah, but I don't have time for it. Uh, for do renting and do this, you know, I don't have time for this. I understand, uh, you know, yeah. being a fellow business owner, it's like we got to wear all the hats um, and yeah. it's it's a difficult job to have, huh? Yeah, because if I sell it again, I invest in something else. Sure. So yeah. um, when, when you said, you know, you got a lot going on in terms of the other businesses, uh, I mean, you know, what, what what's exactly going on with your other businesses? What's kind of... Uh, nothing. I'm doing really good. I have a collision center. I do... Collision, body and repair. Oh, that's awesome. That's a great, that is a great market. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to hear, Elias. Yeah, I've been in business over 20 years, so everything is good. Just I want to sell it. I want to buy another property. You said you want to buy another property? Yeah, yeah. That's why I want to, I'm trying to sell in June. I'm trying to buy another property. Okay. And I mean, are you, are you trying to buy another property that's closer to you or, you know, why, why no, not no, just continue I'm to rent this one out? For business. For business. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Okay. If well, not, I just want to use my own money to buy it. 
But if I sell it, I'm going to use the money for whatever I get from the condo. You'll use the money for something if else. If I sell it at the right price, you know, I'm not going to let it go for nothing, you know. And when you say the right price, what do you mean by that? What's the right price for the property? Uh, I don't know. You know, they go for like 365 over there. I don't know how much I can get. You know, it's a, it's a good location, good, uh, clean, nice, you know, don't need anything, just painting because they put the different color inside, you know, they paint it like a, a green color. You know, if they go out, they're going to paint it. Clean it up and sell it. Yeah. That's what I have to do. So let me ask you this, Elias. There are two types of properties we look at, man. It's an as is property, which is going to be a property that requires some form of repair or update. Yeah. And then you got yeah. a retail property, which is fixed up to its full standards, and you can sell it yeah. at its full value. Which category yeah, yeah. do you, which category do you put this property in, Elias? Uh, it needs to be clean up, you know, only that's it. So which category are you putting it in? Like, well, can you repeat again? Because I can barely, barely hear you. Okay. Yeah. I said, uh, as is property is one that requires some form of repair or update. And a yeah. retail property is one that has the nice granite countertops, a uh, fresh paint, uh, kind of like the HGTV 2023 standards. You know uh, what I mean? Uh, as, a, as a new flooring, I just put the flooring. Yeah. Uh, I spent like 4,000 flooring. Okay. I put, there's a granite top, nice kitchen. Mm -hmm. The only thing needs a paint. So it's need to refresh, you know, just refreshing. Okay. You know, it's not like a need a plumbing, uh, uh, broken walls, breaking cabinets. It's sure. only refreshing, you know, just clean up and refreshing. That's it. Okay. So, Elias, yeah. let me ask you this. If we were to come in, close it out, you know, inherit your tenant. Uh, yeah. Close it out on a on a nice timeline so we can get you that money for you to be able to invest in that other property yeah. for the other business and do whatever yeah. else that you want to do. Uh, yeah. And, you know, not require any repairs. I heard you say there's a few things that need to be done. Where would you be? Yeah. Where, where would you be at on price at that point? man? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, if I want to try to get at least like a 345, 350, 345, 350. Yeah. yeah. OK. OK. And the tenant, they've been really good. They've been there for seven years. How much are the tenants paying uh, each month? Eighteen twenty-five. Eighteen twenty-five. And that's cheap, man. You know, that's everybody over there renting it for like twenty-one hundred. Okay. Well, yeah, they, well, they've been very, very good, and they taking care of the property, so that's why this price. Okay. Well, let me ask you this question, man. Um, I don't run the numbers, but I know if I t if I go in there and I tell my underwriters that I'm trying to get three forty-five approved for this property. Uh, yeah. they're probably gonna kick my teeth in, okay? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I just try. I, I see your website and I try. Somebody got to try. You know? Sure. Yeah. yeah. So, it, it would you be open to this? We actually just rolled out this new program. Uh, yeah. and I think this this yeah. new program would be a good fit for you. Not every property fits this uh yeah. program, but yours does. Um, yeah. if I could get you more money for your property, that wouldn't be something you'll be interested in, would it? Yeah, you just tell me what's your offer. You have to see the property too, right? And give me an offer. That's how it work or how you guys work. Yeah. Um, so we actually purchased the properties uh, and audit company policy. We we have to have an agreement on it. And then we'll yeah. come out and we'll do our due diligence at that point. But um, so this program that I'm telling you about is actually called our concierge service. And what's beautiful about this program is that we have yeah. a very uh, unique and skillful um ability to be able to get a lot of these properties in front of folks uh that yeah. can pay a little bit more than us uh because they they can work off of thinner margins um yeah. and the great thing for you elias as to why to be a you know something to consider is because we wouldn't have to make any money on the end with you we'll make our money on the other end so we're able to offer yeah. you a lot higher um yeah. and, and we are front all of the costs uh yeah. and getting this property in front of those other folks that's not something you would be interested in, is it? No, no. Thank you, man. Don't okay. Understood. And let me ask yeah. you another question. Do you own this property out free and clear? Uh, no, I own still loan. I still like owe like 190000 Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I used to live there. That used to be my house. I got you. 20 years ago. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, Elias, I don't think we'd be the best fit for you, man. But yeah. I do wish you Thank well you. and good luck in business, all right? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Time, all right. Have a good, good one, man. Honest. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm liking these connections. Uh oh, we got these a Memphis lead. 
love the connection, but he I mean, didn't take a shot. Man. He didn't take a shot. He's there. Like, I mean, I know he didn't want it. He wants this number, but at least got hung up on. Don't. Okay. I don't know. I, I might just be from the old school. I mean, I got to take – I'm going to make multiple offers. I want them to say, all right, you know, I'll never take that click vibe. I just can't. Yeah, that, that would be my one thing too, Elijah. I would just tell him, like, these are my these are my members with our different options. This is what you can net. This is what you can net. This is how we can be a solution. Otherwise, you know, you're keeping it. Or hey, Katrina, how you doing? Okay. Awesome. Hey, this is Jeff. I was just reaching out to you, Katrina, because it looks like you actually submitted some information about your property out there in Memphis uh, on our website. And I just wanted to see if I could add some value to you. I'm sorry? We, we talking about selling it? Uh, I mean, you, you submitted your property over there off of Cottonwood uh, that you were interested in an offer. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, yes. awesome. Well, hey, I'm actually glad I got a hold of you, Katrina. Let me ask you this. Um, mm -hmm. You know, in the event that we can agree to a price that makes sense for the both of us, you are definitely ready to at least get the process started on this to, to sell the property today. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, that's beautiful, Katrina. Uh, well, you know, in terms of a price that makes sense for the both of us, um, did you kind of have an idea in mind regarding where you felt like you need to be at? Um, 175. 175? Yes. Okay. And, you know, if we were to come in, take care of all your closing costs, which is all those small transactional fees that add up and eat away at your net profits, um, you know, get this thing closed out on whatever timeline we end up coming up with during this conversation and not require any repairs or updates from you. Uh, I mean, where do you think you'll be at on price at that point? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Well, let me ask you this, Katrina, because I, I want to be completely honest with you. I am completely incentivized to make a deal happen with you because I honestly don't get paid unless we purchase properties. And I know you're not going to sell me your property unless I earn your business. So it's really you and I against my finance team. And I do want to work with you if you're willing to work with me. Is that something that we can do? Um, yes. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit, Katrina, about what even kind of has you considering selling this. Well, I don't, I don't like the neighborhood. You don't like the neighborhood? Yes. Okay. What, what's what's bad about I the neighborhood? I was out of town, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you didn't, you said you didn't, you didn't drive the neighborhood before you bought it? No, I did. Okay. So it's okay, Katrina. We all make mistakes, okay? So don't beat yourself yes. up. I can tell you regretting that mistake. Yes. Okay. Well, well, how important is it for you to get out of that neighborhood? Um, very important. Very important. And why do you say yes. that? Why is it? Why is it very important for you to get out of there? Um, cause you know I'm not used to all of that. I'm used to a, a, you know a little better neighborhood sure. without the gunshots and ah, uh, you know that's scary. I don't want to raise my granddaughter around there. Absolutely not. That, that's it's very not scary. A bad neighborhood area, but I just don't want. I'm just used to stuff different. Yeah, absolutely. No, I. I, I definitely, uh, I grew up in Little Rock, so I'm two hours away from where you are. Um, okay. And Little Rock and Memphis are very similar, and I, I definitely understand not wanting to raise a child or a grandchild in that type of environment. So I, I hope that I'm able to kind of help out here and, and maybe add some value. Um, I appreciate you for sharing that with me, by the way, Katrina. Um, so in regard to the condition of the property, if I were to give you a Home Depot credit card, Katrina, and I were to say, do whatever you want to do, live your best life, <laughs> and fix this property up, you already smiling. Don't spend too much money now, Katrina. All right? I already did. All right, I, I just said, live your best life now, and, 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 and you know, bring this property up to its full value. What all would you do to it? Um, oof. Wow. Well, I well, I would get windows, new windows. New windows? Yeah, but I mean, I don't need What's my time? Old, but, you know, you can, my mm -hmm. husband know how to put the aluminum on so they look new. So he know how to do that. Okay. Um, but I don't know. I, I would just redo everything in there that I've done. And I put more than $15,000 in it because and the people that I had, the contractors that I had fixing it, just didn't do me right and took my money and just didn't do right okay that that is terrible 
And you know, yes. I'm I I haven't had that personally happen to me, Katrina, but I've heard yes. numerous stories of people having contractors do bad business with them. And that's yes. something that you know is really important. And, and mentioning that, Katrina, it reminds me. I know you probably get a lot of these phone calls. Um, and it's yes. probably it's very difficult to weed through who's really really serious and who's really not. Uh, we are actually accredited with the Better Business Bureau, so we believe in taking care of our folks, um, and that's really important. So any anytime you're doing business with anybody, I would definitely ask them that. Hey, are you accredited with the Better Business Bureau? Let me call them and see what kind of business you do. And I guarantee you probably half of those people that are calling you won't call you back. OK, that's a little secret. I'm, I'm giving you that for free, Katrina. OK, oh, I've learned. I've learned. <laughs> OK, OK. So, um, all right. Well, I, I, I think I got a pretty decent idea about the condition. How many beds and baths do we have in here? Uh, three bedrooms and two baths. OK, OK. Now, Katrina, I heard you mention that you didn't want to raise your grandchildren in, in that environment. Um, but would it be anybody who would be upset with you that you didn't speak with them first before making a decision to sell this property? Uh-uh, no. No? Okay. Uh-uh. And, and I just asked, you know, I, I was actually speaking with Susan earlier today, and she told me the same thing. And we got to a point uh, in the conversation where we're about to sign paperwork, and she told me, ah, oh, you know, I... Actually, I need to let my realtor friend look at that. So I just wanted to make sure that wasn't the case here. Nobody else. Oh, did. No. OK, no. OK. Mm -hmm. And let's just say that we agree to a price that makes sense for the both of us. Um, is there anything else that would keep you from, you know, feeling comfortable to move forward? Um, no, just the right price. Just the right price. Got it. Yes. OK. And in terms of a, a, a timeline, where, where do you think you are in terms of what feels good for you? Usually we're about 21 and 24. Some people love that. Other people want a little bit more time. Where are you at on time? Uh, maybe about um, a couple of months. Maybe. A couple of months, 60 days. That yeah. is perfectly fine. OK. Yeah. And, um, you know, I went ahead. I, I heard what you said you, you wanted to get. But I also heard you earlier where you told me you definitely wanted to get out of that property um and, and get your granddaughter in a safer environment uh mm -hmm. so you know i went ahead and submitted over uh this information over to my uh to my underwriters while we were talking and so my underwriters actually told me that the property qualifies for a hundred and five thousand a hundred and five thousand yes ma'am oh no Mm -mm. I still owe 140. You still owe 140. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, well, let me ask you this. And it appraised for 160, and then I put what I put in there, so I need a little bit more. Absolutely. Uh, and, and, and I'll be very honest with you. I I agree, and I'm I'm really disappointed in them for you know providing me with that number, uh, because I obviously want to try to get you as as much as I absolutely can. You know, we just rolled out a program that I think your property would be a perfect candidate for, Katrina. If okay. I was able to get you a little bit more money, would you be willing to give me a little bit of time and a little bit more access to the property? Is that something that you'll be able to do for me? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, we, we have this new program. I forget what they, they, they call it the concierge service. You know, it's like a white glove service. You know how when you pull your car up at the, the front of the hotel and you get out and they take it, that, that that's what this program does. And essentially what this does for you is it allows us to offer you more. And what we do is we put this property in front of a multitude of people using our, our skill set to market our deals. And we partner with the end buyer on this transaction. Why that is beautiful for you is because it, we do not have to make our profit on your end. We're able to work with that end buyer and we can make our profit on their end. And it allows for us to be able to offer a little bit more. Um, and what's perfect is that you're not in a rush to sell anyway. So it gives us this uh, that 60 days. So, I mean, if I was able to get like, I don't know, maybe like you said you owe 140. Yes. And you said the property appraised at what number? 160. 160. If I were able to get you 150, do you think that that's something that we can work with? No, I'm afraid not. You're afraid not. T tell me what you hate about that. 
Um, it's just it's just not enough. I mean, I, I'd rather sit on it and, and wait till I'm able to sell it for more. Here I am, Mama. Because I, I want to at least get back the money that I spent. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, you know, Katrina, I really hate it, but I don't think that we're going to be the best fit for you because, I mean, I I did everything I could on this one. But, uh, you know, we'll follow up in the future and just kind of see where things are at that point. OK. OK. Thank you. I appreciate you. You have a good one. You too. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Let's keep rolling. What well, we got three minutes. You got Amen. this. Still three more minutes. Man, I would have, man, I, I really would have. Another Memphis League. Two. Okay. I would have went to subject two and did a seller finance, uh, um, a seller finance and second lien position. She just wanted the mental number. She didn't want the thought of me having to spend more of than I got that paid out. Subject two with the seller finance gave a little, gave a little number and then and tack her on, let's get you out of this neighborhood. I cannot let my auntie stay in this neighborhood. Turn her into the bank. Like, how much did you put into the property again? Oh, yeah. I feel like that as a he, he had that one. She's right there. She would have played ball. Yeah. If, she, if we would have broke the numbers down. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I didn't think Novation was that. It was the right play. But that's the best part about it. Everybody gets to make the moves that they feel is best when you're in your bag. Right. Yeah. This is, man. I'll, listen, listen I, I would do this all day long. I like, I love clothes. I love hearing closers. I like he seeing closers. I love these comments. Everybody's making in these comments, you know. I know. It's dope. Uh, I'm, here, I'm seeing techniques I didn't even know about. See people calling out. I love this. See, and then this is what it's for. This is what it's for. See, this is tough, though. This is tough because, to the best of my knowledge, I haven't heard a verbal get out there. That's Not yet. Accepted. Answer this phone, Brian. Not yet. Stop it's playing with me. Everything else. That's Lily. He literally <laughs> exactly what I'm saying, Liam. I'm looking at my scorecard like he's killing us so much things, but one area, and that's what happens. You don't take your shot. You know, you leave yourself at the risk of, you know, you may not get somebody else. You know, hanging up early on everybody else might come back to bite him. He's got a minute mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, but he still got some minute left. So got you got got a little bit of time left. Uh, I, I love the I love seeing all the different skill set at, at this play though. I mean, there's a lot oh. of skill set. You, you might be like Kyrie Irving, right? You, you got the handles, you got the jump shot, you got the fadeaways. You know, he got a lot of the different things in. Play. But getting that verbal. The reason why these people not answering the phone because they do not want to sell their house. They know if they answer this phone, I'm buying it. They know it. All right, listen. I think that's time. Is my time up? Seven seconds. All right. There it is. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. 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 You know, listen. This is definitely a, a, a version of the real world. Because guess what? Sometimes the clock kicks our butt. Sometimes our skills kick our butt. Sometimes the market can kick our butt. But one thing for sure, we always shoot our shot. And um, at the end of the day, when you're putting your best foot forward, like my guy Jeff did, that's all we can really do. That's all we can really do. But listen, I have thoroughly enjoyed this competition. Um, I hate to be one of those people that say, is this like one of the best ones yet? I don't want to be one of those people. So I'm just going to leave that out. But this has definitely been one of my most favorite uh, uh, competitions thus far. So I think we got the scores in. I don't want to waste a whole lot of time. Um, let's get let's just get straight to it. Let's just get straight to it. Listen, do we have 
Do we have Cassie up ready to go now? Do we have her ready to go? Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm still doing my scores. Go with somebody else because my computer froze. <laughs> Dang it. I'm sorry. Our computers are coming against us. No. It is. <laughs> Listen, let's okay, let's give her a little time. And while we do that, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear from you guys. What were some of your thoughts? What are some of the things you felt could have been done better? Right? Do you feel like he should have, you know, kept a couple of those calls? Do you feel like he did everything right and just the circumstance just didn't work out for him? Listen, what are your thoughts? Okay. Antronetta said that this was good. Okay. All right. Um, great competition. That's true. But I want to hear some opinions. What do y'all think about this? That last call? How did you do? What do you guys feel Jeff could have done to make this a little bit better? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So he did everything possible. Okay. Okay. Checked all of the boxes. He can. Okay. Right. Jeff killed it. So the general consensus is that a lot of people are feeling like he really did a good job. It's just a matter of circumstance. She wasn't motivated. Okay. Okay. All right. I don't know if y'all are just Jeff fans or not, but uh, <laughs> if y'all are, I want to know if any of y'all have already gotten your closest Olympics bundle. That's what I want to know. Since y'all up here caping for Jeff so much, since y'all loving the D-Town boys so much in the building, have y'all gotten y'all tickets to go potentially see Jeff if he happens to win this competition? That's what I want to know. Who got them tickets? Listen, I'm going to go ahead and break this down. If you haven't already, go to closestolympics.com right now. Go ahead and go right now. I need everybody to go right now. Stop typing. Stop everything. Go right now and go ahead and pick up your bundle. What do you get? What do you get? You get 50 plus hours, 50 plus hours of live footage from the Closest Olympics. That's number one. Number two is you get a step-by-step -step sales course. All of us can use that. Listen, you are never all the way finished with learning about sales. Listen, when you get to that point where you've learned everything, you're going backwards. And you also get a general admissions ticket to the Closers Olympics, the official kickoff, right? And that's all for $297, not $695. Y'all lucky y'all ain't dealing with me. I probably would have charged y'all uh, $695. I wouldn't have gave y'all no love on that. That's a fact. Because this is definitely worth it. So if you have already logged into the website, at least put a number one in the chat, put a number one in the chat. I want to see you. I want to see you, but let's go ahead and get this party started. I think we got Cassie. She's ready. Right. To go. I am good to go. Okay. Yeah. First of all, I want to say that was again, an absolute amazing showcase. I think Jeff, his biggest issue was he was selling. He wasn't buying. He mm -hmm. was trying to sell them back. He did so good at building rapport. He did so good at so many things. But at the end of the day, the score is going to be the score because, you know, Kendall got two verbals. You know, what are you going to do about that? Um, but he did so excellent. There's so much for everybody to learn from them, uh, from, from all of the contestants today. Um, but I, as much as I love Jeff's style, I had to, I had to, he didn't get any verbals. So, um, 19. yeah, that's where I'm at. He could have definitely laid it down. You know, Elijah and I were both saying, uh, running the net for that last lady. You know, a lot of people in the comments are saying she wasn't ready. Uh, you're, this is the closers Olympics. Yeah. You got to figure out how to close them. And I think that that's my constructive criticism with him. Um, he did so much right, but. At the end of the day, got to close the no deal. Verbals, you ain't putting up the points. It is what it is. Well, he still got 19 points. That's, yeah. that's decent, right? I don't know what Liam is going to come with. You know, at the end of the day, yeah, listen, this is a fierce competition. Liam, what are your thoughts on this one, man? I was impressed, man. I think there was so much done exceptionally well right there. Yeah. Uh, across the board, the only thing I really could think he could have done differently is tell some more stories. I think if he got into the storytelling mode and been able to to affect some some change through that, he could have gotten a few more points. You guys will see when I come up here. I scored him pretty highly. And the other thing is that he just didn't get a verbal agreement out the door. 
And that's unfortunate. Wow. Now, the one thing I want to touch on is I've been seeing some of the comments. One of the comments up there says something about Jeff snapped just not good leads. I'm putting it up right there. That's crazy. That's a crazy comment. That's a crazy comment. The reason I'm saying it's crazy is because let's take cold calling. You're going to be on the phone for two, three, four hundred dials before you're getting somebody who's motivated to sell, who wants to sell. It is your job to be able to tease them to the right price, to build a relationship of trust and, and being able to paint the picture of understanding of what can and cannot happen here. So that's fact. your job as a salesman. So that's that's a crazy comment to me. I think that Jeff would have had my highest score if he'd gotten to that verbal agreement and a solid verbal agreement. Because I mean, he was he was right up there. So that was just a fantastic outing by by by, by Jeff. Love it, love it. I mean, it's up to Elijah. Elijah, you're gonna be Jeez. who determines who walks away with this thing. Jeez, man. Like I said, I mean. My man was reminding me of Kyrie Irving over here. He ha he has he has a he has a lot of it right there, right? He has the handles, he has the jump shots, he has a fadeaway. My man got in his bag. He got he put on for everyone. So I really like seeing what he did. I think he he showed a lot of what it takes to be uh, stream high close in this game. Um, I think he did really good on multiple calls. He got through about almost four calls. So he he actually talked to more people than anybody else in the competition this round. Um, I think he did great on rapport. I think he did pretty decent on, uh, on negotiations. He built, um, he threw a couple of novations out there. He handled objections pretty good. He identified the pain. He poked the pain anomaly. At, but at the end of the day, like I think Cassie hit it right. This is not the um, offer a lot or the build a rapport a lot Olympics. This is a closer Olympics. He built good rapport. He identified pain. I feel he had a, a couple good shots he could have took. I feel that he didn't take his shots, and I don't know the final uh, final cost, final totals, but he was right there. I felt he could have did a little bit more. I felt he could have locked up one guy for a like moment. What a close! He wasn't closing on the closing. <laughs> He's right there, he was right there, but yeah, yeah. I, I just gotta keep it a buck. Yeah, it is what it is. This is the closest Olympics, right? <laughs> Close Olympics. I'm not talking Olympics. Oh, Close. Got All right, well, cool. Um, let's go ahead and get Jeff back in here. Um, Jeff, what's up? What's up, man? What you think, bro? Hey, man, I, I actually agree uh, with the judges. Um, I was going for a verbal. The you want to squeeze the, the, the juice as much as you can when you are uh, dealing with these leads because you don't know when you're going to get the next person on. And it's, it's different. Like, we even changed our whole sales process to make this happen because uh, we don't do one call closes. We do two call closes. We're very detailed in the information that we get. But my goal was to showcase and show people that if you get on the phone and you're confident in your abilities, you can navigate a phone call, and I accomplished that. So I put on for my people. That's all I cared about. Hey, listen, Jeff, I ain't going to lie to you. I was thoroughly impressed. I appreciate that. What do you mean you? I'm just saying. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. I was thoroughly impressed, man. Listen, um, but at the end of the day, it's a competition. Therefore, we have winners and we have losers. Yes. And, you know, <laughs> Shoot, man, this one was tough, bro, because I really enjoyed those phone calls. Um, this one is tough. So, you, you know, listen, we got the judges. They're going to come in. And we're going to go ahead and get these final scores together. And man. It, it just it, it just is what it is. Um, this is, man, this is, this is a competition, man. I'm feeling away. Wow. This was this was tough. It was you, tough, Cassie, bro. Cassie, you muted, oh, Cassie. God. You muted. <laughs> I know Cassie. Cassie was spitting some heat right there. I, you felt seriously, the I'm so excited about everything that we just saw from from everybody here. Like, I would, I would, I could sit down and like do this all day with these guys. We, like, y'all, everybody just put out so much value, and there's so much for you to take from everybody that just went on like it's it's so difficult to sit there and be like i don't want i don't want jeff not to move on you know i want to see him do more of that you know what i'm saying but at the end of the like i you know i i would do this again with all these people like it was an absolute display of sheer skills today 
And I'm just so impressed. Like, you know, I think that the, the good thing about this also is, is that, you know, this is going to get, you know, even the people that do mo don't move on to another round, this is going to get them, you know, in spaces where they're going to be able to continue to display their skills. And what Jeff was just saying, he's going to be able to continue to go out there and show what they do and help people and have impact and then perfect his team and, and perfect his people and, and give, give to the community. It, there's, there's yeah. nothing like this. I love this competition so much. Yeah. I think you can everything. Oh, go, go ahead, Byron. Go ahead, Byron. This, this, I mean, it's just so dope, man. I just appreciate y'all. And also, man, I got to give a special shout out. So my guy named and Taylor, man, and he's a U.S. Army vet. Can we can we salute my guy for being a, a U.S. Army vet? He's an entrepreneur, investor, founder of Time Capital, marching Time Capital, and and he was in the closest Olympics in 2021. Shout out to my guy named and Taylor for being our official comper. Listen, um, I don't think this event would have been what this event was without you, bro. So I just wanted to highlight you on that, man. Anything you want to say? Yeah, this is awesome. This competition today was incredible. Um, I really enjoyed Kendall, Jeff, KP, my man, uh, Orion. Like, these guys were putting on a show. A lot of people can learn a lot of stuff from what they were able to watch today. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't agree with them more. I couldn't agree with you more. I. Th I think what we've seen today, you guys got a little glimpse of what the real close Olympics gonna look like. And like these people don't have million dollar brands as yet. As yet. Yeah. So you get to see the future rookies of the year. You get to see the future future closers who are going to be here for years after years. And you saw so many different styles, so many different techniques, so many different ways that you could close better just by watching this. Go back and watch the techniques. Watch the transitions. Watch the, if I give you a Home Depot credit card today, don't be spending all the money on it now. Think about how that can help improve your closing abilities in your teams. I highly recommend not only you watching these replays, but also make sure your VAs watch this. This is what we're doing it for. Having this feeling you guys are feeling right now, that energy you're feeling, this is pure. You can't reenact this. This is a real deal. Absolutely. Listen, I just want to say, Number one, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for KP. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Orion. Thank you, Kendall, for giving us a phenomenal show. And listen, I also want to say, if you haven't already, listen, if you haven't already, make sure that you have already visited the site, closesolympics.com, closesolympics.com. Get, get your early bird. Get your early bird. I know a couple of you have already done so and indicated that in the chat. And shout out to you guys for doing that. This is no better value. You can't listen. If you're serious about being in this business, okay, you're serious about closing deals, getting new properties under contract, you would be a fool if you're not picking up this early bird ticket right now. Do not wait because when the price goes up, it's up and it's stuck and you will not be able to see this again. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that closestolympics.com and go ahead and pick that up. If you are interested, if you're interested in joining the next Closest Olympics, make sure you text that number. Make sure you go ahead and text that number and apply today. Let's go ahead and get it done. But without further ado, we have a winner to bring to you. <laughs> and this right here, we got a really, 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 really close game right now. And looks like my guy Kendall is going to be moving on to see us at the official Closest Olympics. My guy Kendall. How you feeling, man? How you feeling? ATL in the building. Man, you moving on, man, to bigger and bigger, bigger and better things. But we can't hear you right now, though. We can't hear you. You got to unmute your mic. Got to unmute your mic. I want to hear all that. Hold up. You can hear me? Now I can hear you. I want man. 
Hey, bro. I'm good. You can hear me? You good. All right, so listen. July. That's, that's, that's what I got to say. July, baby. I'm in the building. I want to appreciate everybody. Um, Elijah, Jen, Liam, RJ, Cassie, Byron, yourself, everybody who put this together. N uh, name it for doing the comps for us and everything like that. Uh, shout out to y'all, man. I've been watching Coast of the Olympics since 2020. And, uh, man, I've been wanting to lock in and get on here, man. And when y'all opened it up, it was like floodgates of heaven just opened right up. Like, come on through. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? So, um for me man i'm excited um shout out to my team i got abe is on here it's one of my acquisition managers he on here with me my wife my kids is watching shout out to all y'all and um yeah man salute to you guys for putting this thing together but hey i'm in the building baby i'm gonna see rj rj <laughs> oh, we got we got i'm coming for you baby <laughs> i love it i love it so here's the deal you won this thing you yeah. squeezed it out because KP was right there on your neck. AP was a monster. I was like, ooh, on your <laughs> neck. So what do you feel, honestly, honestly, yeah. what do you feel differentiated you from the competition today, specifically? Yeah. What do you feel like those, those key things were? Honestly, man, I'm just so comfortable talking to any type of person, man. Um, I came up, um, you know, in my early days in the barbershop. And one thing that I can really attest is when I used to be in a barbershop and I used to clean up, clean up uh, stations, sweep the floors, I was 13 years old. When I used to walk in the door, I had to shake everybody's hand, child, man, woman. If I missed somebody, I had to leave and come back again and start all over again. Being in a barbershop, having to talk to older people that are older than me and have those conversations and hold those conversations kind of gives me the ability to talk to anybody, man, and create some type of connection, no matter who it is I'm talking to. So I just think my comfortability with talking to people works. My experience in the game as well. Like, I understand, you know, how to close deals. Like I said, I've closed over 250 deals in my eight-year career. So, I mean, you know, I, I just get it. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I think that that's the... The main differentiator, I'm very cool and comfortable no matter who I'm talking to. And I think that's the that's the main thing for me. I love it, man. Listen, man, you put on an incredible show. Thank you, incredible. sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I love it, man. I want to I want to give a special shout out to, you know, the people that we don't see on the camera that makes this competition absolutely spectacular, uh, spectacular. And that's Jen and Maron. You know, we, we haven't we we haven't seen them on the camera one time. And uh, but they're in, in the background doing the work, doing the work and making this competition as great as it is, as great as Kendall is on these phones. They're in the back making that happen. So shout out and salute to y'all um, for that. I really, really appreciate y'all. Listen. If you haven't got your ticket, you need to go ahead and get your ticket. Kendall, can you sell these people? Because I don't know what's going on. Can you sell them on why they Oh, they're not coming in? What, what they doing? They're not coming in? I haven't seen enough ones. Enough people are not signing up yet. Man, they, listen. They packages to come see you. Man, listen. Y'all sleep, man. Listen, Um, first off, if you have a team, let's just say that you got a team right now that, that you got a couple acquisition managers, even yourself. First things first, we use Closest Olympics as part of our training package. So everybody who's an AM for us watches the Closest Olympics. That's number one. Number, so it makes your training super easy if you got a team. You can cut down a lot of time on that. That's number one. Number two is um, with the Closest Olympics, if you on the phone yourself, there's plenty of gems that I picked up. Matter of fact, just from the last round, that little uh, virtual funding number, I've never done that. But this is my first time doing it on a live call, and I got that from Seamus on the last joint. And you, you heard what my man said, like, oh, virtual funding. Number. Like, it's just something about it that just hit different. Success is in the details. It's It can be one line that make you an extra 500000 this year. One line. The line about how do you feel about that? I learned that in 2020 or 2021 from Keith Everett, just asking the seller how you feel about the offer. The line about, hey, um, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm, I'm gonna have to give you a range on this particular property. I learned that in 2020 on the other closest Olympics. There's so much game, and it's for three hundred dollars. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't understand, man. If you ain't got it, you really sleep like in a real way. Shame and shout out to you, my guy, um, because that thing really does work. And just that alone just got me a deal. Like my man just texted me his email after the fact and said, I got the contract. I'm reading it now on, on that Jimmy dude. And I just talked to the other lady, gave her the same thing and they ready to rock and roll on the contract. So if you guys are really not getting these small details and small gems, you sleeping on your business, man. Cause it's one sentence that could change the game for your whole business. That is an absolute fact. And I heard a bunch of dope sentences today. You hear me? 
a bunch of them. So listen, man, I just want to thank you, Kendall, man, for uh, giving today, right? And providing the value that you provided to not only the show, but even to the sellers. Because at the end of the day, man, you got real deals. You got yeah. real deals today. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when we talking about things like conversion rate, listen, man, you guys are literally watching closes, close deals in one phone call. Come on now. Right. Let's not minimize that. Listen, we're getting ready to go to the official closes Olympics. Right. Um, listen, it's going to be in July. Go ahead and pick up your tickets. We want to see you in the building. You do not want to miss this opportunity to sharpen your skills. Nobody. Listen, you just heard one of the top closers. This guy by himself, right, has closed. I mean, well, how many? 250 plus deals? 250 plus. I stopped still counting learning. at 250. I ain't I stopped checking the HUDs after that. I'm just and like, you still doing? learning. Still learning. And if these newbies, and if you ain't closed at least 50 deals or 20 deals, and you ain't got your tickets, you're playing. So go ahead and get your tickets. Pull up. It could be the difference between you and millions of dollars, literally, literally. So, listen, I just want to thank everybody that was involved in making this happen. Whether you was on the camera, whether you was behind the scenes, whatever that may have been. Um, thank the judges. Man, y'all did a phenomenal job today, too, by the way. Um, y'all did a phenomenal job. A lot of great feedback. And I know that um, we learn as much, you know, from you guys as we do from the people who are actually closing because y'all break it down. Um, any final words, man? Any final words? I got one. I got some final words, and those are thank you, Byron. Man, you showed up today. Yes. You hosted like a, I mean, just to, to absolute perfection. You kept the energy high. You kept everything rolling perfectly. So thank you for showing up once again. It's, 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 it's always a pleasure. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank everybody involved with the Closers Olympics. Kendall. Thank you for putting on that show, man. Like I, it was such a close run in there. With some of them, like you best be glad Jeff didn't get a verbal. He would have been. It I knew been I needed it. I knew I needed it. Without the verbal, it was gonna be a long night. I knew oh, I needed it. Was be, yo, we were gonna have a tiebreaker. We were, you know. No, look, uh, mad, mad props to all the contestants once again. All of you guys, thank you for for letting me be a part of this. It's it's such a joy to be a part of and. Look, you better you better get out there and get your reps in be between now and July, boy. If you trying to come for that bill, I'm going to let hey, you look, know. I've I'm been working get... with that man for over a decade. So <laughs> hey, I look, I he was, he, and he's nasty. He's, he's nasty. Disgusting. Oh, my God. He's uh, nasty. <laughs> yeah. But look, hey, that's what you said there. And I'll leave this because we all I know we all got to go. But but what you said, you said this twice. I have watched all of Closers Olympics both years before and you get so much from watching all of that you're training your people with this stuff because these are some of the best closing skills you're going to get to see in the, in the country you know it's like in our public education system there's different learning styles well there's different buying styles there's different speaking styles man like you're absolutely right and that's what every single round of this is going to be so i'm excited to keep you know to just be a part of it and Witness it. I'll be watching every single round. Listen, I want to real, real quick. I got to shout out my people who have already taken actions. Again, action takers are money makers. This is a fact. Action takers are money makers. Shout out to my guy, Dalen West, for going ahead and taking some action and getting his package today. My guy, Curtis, got his bundle today, right? He's already taking action. Shout out to my guy, Curtis, for taking action. Listen, so many of you need to be putting that number one in the chat. Y'all just have no idea uh, how many of y'all need to be doing that. Listen. Yes, I'm sir. Excited. Last thing. Last thing here before we wrap up. And like I said, special shout out again to Byron. Amazing host. Held it down. You know when you're dealing with extreme quality A-level players. That's the only thing Close Olympics deals with. Only A-level players. Thank you, Cassie, putting on for all the female closers in this community. Thank you for making that happen. I really appreciate you, Mama, for making that happen. Liam and the whole I speed the lead family. I really appreciate you providing those premium leagues. You know, with uh, you know, with KP, you got a little shaky, but you saw everything else through the whole time. Nothing but fire premium leads. Shout out to Gene and the family there. 
Jen, Moran, we appreciate all the work you guys did on the background naming. Thank you for stepping in like a champ as well. Kendall, sir. Big brother. I, 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 I spoke I, I spoke a little highly of you, sir. I spoke a little highly of you. I'm like, do not, do I not let you do down. Do not disrespect the the the, the, the fact that I put you on the pedal so I knew that I put a little extra pressure on you. Yeah. What is sure that pressure gonna bust pipes? Or if you're gonna put on, you put on, you executed. This is in your blood. I know what you're capable of doing. Now, all that nice talk ends now because you're going to be competing against me and the rest of us now, right? It's over so. with. Hey, look, now I'm about to go in the trenches and get to it and get ready for y'all. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yeah. for everybody who's asking, make sure you guys still can apply. You guys still can apply. We have four more rounds. Four more rounds to find out who's going to be the final four, who's going to be getting with Scott and Kendall in day one. So make sure you guys apply. We're going to be having auditions at the end of April, early May to find out who's going to be in round four, five, and six. So there's still time for you to apply. So make sure you apply, fill out your details, stay locked in. We're going to be having round three. Round three is coming at the end of it, at the end of April. We'll get to exact dates, lock in. This is the best free edutainment you're going to receive. Go and get that bundle, lock in. I appreciate everybody who took the time for this. This was great. Excellent, excellent job, everyone, for sure. Oh. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. Well, I guess we will see y'all in July. We see y'all in July, and um, salute, salute, bye.